every single social engagement I had today in order to play this video game. Launching Metaphor Refantasio. Let's play the video game. Walk the fuck in. All right, let's go do the, uh... All right. Where to? Huh. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Looks like everyone's here. Now then. What lurks below? Oh, but it is a sand flash today.
Looks like everyone's here. And now that hmm. we could set up camp there. Here's where we are now. Ah, danger. What should we do? And there's a campground. Until next. It is a sand flash today, so I kind of don't want to go out. Let's go spend time with Maria. You. Do you have a moment? There's something I wanted to ask you. It's about Maria. Sorry. Sorry, I know you must be busy. Now come on and ask, did you say something to Maria? Kind of. Since your last visit, she's been acting rather odd. She insists on helping me with everything, no matter what that is. About that. About that, I may have an idea why. I'm happy that she wants to help me out, but at times it feels like she's desperate to find something to do. Why, you little wretch! Look at what you've done! Wait. Sir, why are you raising your voice as a child? The damn brat spilt me drink down me leg! This is the idea of service, Fabian! I'm sorry. Keep your britches on, what as they are. Leave them at the door later for cleaning, and I'll get you another drink on the house. Oh. Apologies, but could you take Maria upstairs? I'm sorry. No. Listen. You don't have to apologize, but it's all my fault. Miss Fabian was busy talking to you, so I thought I could help her out by taking care of that customer. I just wanted to show Miss Fabian that I can carry both the food and the drinks now. Do you think Miss Fabian will get rid of me? Does she not want you here anymore? No, no. Poor kid! Someone helped this kid, but Papa did. He left me all alone. Someone give get this kid into therapy. Does therapy exist? Maria, may I come in? It's alright. Oh, come now. Wipe those tears. The scary customer's already left. Everything's just fine now. Miss Fabienne, I promise I'll be a good girl, and I won't cause any more trouble, so please, even if we're not family, can I stay with you? Maria. My Maria, is that what you've been thinking this whole time? Of course you can stay here. You needn't worry about earning your keep either, silly girl, because this is your home. I may not be your blood mother by blood, God rest her soul, but nonetheless, you're still my most precious treasure, my family, and I consider you my daughter. Okay. Now you listen here. Your papa never abandoned you. He did everything he did because he truly, deeply cared about cared about you. He worked hard to protect everyone, above all else. Mm -hmm. That he did. And even if we can't see him anymore, I know without a doubt he's watching over all of us. All he ever did was ask about you. He regretted every moment he had to stay away from you, and it would have made him so happy to see you grow up. But more than anything, he wanted to give you a world where you could smile and laugh with your own heart. You helped your papa, too, by giving him the strength to keep going. I felt the same way as he did, Maria. If you're with me, I can weather any storm. This place is your home and always will be. Rest assured, my dear girl, we still have plenty of days filled with smile and laughter ahead of us. You can come with me to me with anything. The things that make you happy or sad, or even if you just want to talk about your papa, I'll always be here. Oh, okay. This poor kid. Thank you so much, mister. I'm glad that I'm home and I'm with my family. This, she's so little sister coded. This is family. Wait, she's so Nanako coded. Increases post battle EXP? Wait, that's peak? I'm glad I came to you for help. Would you mind checking in on Maria from time to time to see how she's doing? About that scary customer from before, he's only in a bad mood because he recently lost a job and got in a row with his raft. He thought about what he said before he went home, and he's sorry for yelling at you. Said he wanted to apologize to you himself, Maria. I get it now. You have to say what you mean out loud, or else no one will know. 
That means there's more I can do. Now my little treasure, go wash up. And how about you help me taste test some new dishes? Mister, thank you so much for everything today. See you later. What's that look on your face? Boredom? Got nothing to do? Say, how's the search going? We found a stream street junk that gives me the feeling of a relic. You treat me strangely, old girl. Let me take a look, would you? Will you? Would you look at that? This certainly doesn't appear to be a natural object. This one's a bit of a trick. You gotta follow the right steps to open it. Just a little tug here, and there we are. It's opened up. Take a look, a lost relic. I can't believe it turned out to be a proper piece of treasure. You mean it's real? We just sort of stumbled across it. Wonder if the mechanism's the same as the old codgers. Aha! Uh -huh. My greatest invention. Yeah, a lot of genius made. Thank you, Joker Persona 5. I've got to say, finding one after the other is something else. I've half wondered if it was all elaborate prank, but the old geezer was really on to something. What? Would he really mislead you on purpose? Oh, absolutely! He said it was the genuine article, but so is my gullibility. Goodness. I never forget. The night of my birthday, he bought me a book, called it his gift, a downright horrifying tome titled Lamentation of the Underworld. Taking the liberty of reading aloud when suddenly the lights went out. In the dark, he threw on a monster costume and started chasing me around. The damned old goat. It's his fault that bright-eyed young nurse grew up to be such a delicate and sensitive wallflower. I mean, just look at me. I, uh, don't see it. Anyhow, this is but one part of a greater whole. The more, more intricate bits here, I bet my feathers that it's made to interlock with a partner piece. If he was right, it supported an ancient civilization, one piece, one piece of a super lab device. Limitless, how is that possible? Not even igniters can do that, can they? Yeah. That, my girl, is something we can only find out once we've seen the finished product, so please, help me find the rest. Right. Oh, I'm definitely yeah. feeling motivated now. That's the spirit, I'm counting on you. Something tells me we'll have to gather up a whole lot for this. Wow. I admit, it looks like junk for me. Hey, I've been a connoisseur of junk since I was a sprout, I'll have you know. What were you like as a child? Oh, I was an adorable, well-behaved boy from a prominent family. But then, one day, the old codger, who wasn't quite so old then, beckoned me over with a finger of fate. Curiosity got the better of me, and I saw he was holding a fossil caked in mud, alongside other bibbits and bobbits I couldn't begin to fathom. Next thing I know, I'm sneaking out of the house to dig in, dig through fossils in the cliffside with the gaffer. Naturally, my parents discovered this and had me grounded, but I wouldn't let that deter me. And one day, as I dug through the dirt, I picked up something that was very clearly not a fossil at all. I read every technical book under the sun, but whatever this was, it eluded me. Although I did find a technical manual on gauntlet runners in my mad academic experiment, got a bit invested, and then suddenly I was an engineer. Then it must have been fate. Perhaps so, old thing. Everything did seem to start there. It's how I came to be the man I am today. To chase the unknown, to escape tedium. That's the course my mind decides to chart. The decision to travel with you lot collecting relics, that too was the result of letting the heart do as it pleases. We're in this journey together. Speaking of, 
The next relic. I found a clue. I've written it down in my notebook. Should be around here. Give it a gander if you would. I get. It's all ship shape. This one's important. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Da, da. That reminds me. Rumor says that there's monsters wandering around. I don't really care about going in there. I want to do as much as I can, but... According to the old southeast of Merida. Okay, so there isn't one. Uh, wh which one is the map button? Let's head there right away. Okay, what's the plan? Now, to something bad. Well, what are we doing there again? This is where the keyless guy wanted to find a ring dome. I guess it's a tube for a dead noble. I don't trust that man as far as we can throw him, but we do need to recover Grease's dagger. Team robbers haven't picked the place clean. We may out, come out with more than just a ring. We have to make camp for today, but we'll arrive back by tomorrow. The question is, can we even make it back by tomorrow night? Just leave it to me. As long as you don't get, go dragging your feet, of course, then to settle. It would behoove us to prepare ourselves, even whilst on the road. Taking up the request of the man in Martira, the gauntlet runner makes its way southwest of the town. The mysterious individual could very well become a source of new power, though they have yet to quite grasp that. No, he looks like he's giving main character design, so he looks like he's gonna give me a bond, you know? Uh, let's go to the lounge and finish that book. What's that? He continued to trash through the raging sandstorm. At last he came upon a cave, the entrance gaping like the maws of a beast. The walls of the cave were translucent, revealing the inside to be an intricately winding labyrinth, fantastical and akin to a mirage. A giant cave with glass walls in the desert. That sounds otherworldly, but strangely familiar. Well, whatever. What's it sound like to you? Sure. That would be a beautiful sight. Yeah, I bet it be dazzling in the daylight. Probably at night, too, sparkling in the moonlight. I know this new world is just fictional, but I want to visit it if it were a real place. Oh, you lot! Time to muster! We've got a runner heading our way! God, that boorish water has to be Godard's Horizon Star! That firebrand thinks he's decimated our craft! 
kind of nervous to know with the other gauntlet runners by sight, but when he says decimate, that can't be a good thing. We can't, we mustn't allow him to damage his highness's runner. You're young. Too young, in fact. A greenhorn like you is years, centuries, from deserving a land run. You'd be the rapscallions who crashed the opening ceremony. A young man like you, our king. Ha! Laughable. What's your problem? The name's Godard. The rightful heir to the throne and the voice of the rogue tribe. Tax the young, bankroll the elderly, those too old. What? Will know prosperity under my rule. You little jackanapes will kneel. What? And, elders. and if you will not, you will be made to kneel. Prepare yourselves. Clear off. Let's have a spot of inventive ingenuity. So he isn't popular enough to attack. I'll use what I must. Slash. Now, what's the play? No holding back. You'll be done, cheeky brat. Better be sure. Is there enough? Come forth, royal sword! For all the great strive for! Rush forward! Oh. Got them right Save your crew! Oh. Die! You whippersnappers need to learn respect for your elders! Who do you think kept this kingdom together after the war? Suffer! <laughs> Oh, that's annoying. Captain, they've slowed Damn. Would you finish it? Take this. Take this! Only a flesh wound. Scroll can't take I shall long. vanquish evil! Someone feel him! I'll take him! Oh, I'll take him! I'll take him! I'll take him! I'll take him! I'll take Remember, we all grow old. And the blade you hold to my throat will be. Nobody's trying to massacre the elderly, you old. I need to use the bathroom, I'll be right back.
I'm back. You old goat. We just want equal happiness for all, young and old. We want equal happiness for all, young God above. Look, we'll not kill you here. How's that for respecting our elders? But mark me, this will not happen again. <laughs> Far too naive. But I suppose that's the luxury of youth. Cool. To ever greater heights. Cool fight. Oh, belly work out there. No one's getting their hands on the ship under your watch. Now, full speed ahead. No delays for us if we can handle that. The gauntlet runner at last arrives at an encampment as darkness overcomes the wilds. Nightfall. The time of hunting for monster kind. Even with the gauntlet runner, it is no time for travel. As monsters come more alive with every breath, the thirst for adventure is quenched. If I hope you found finds a good place. Say, are you free now? I was thinking how to spend the time on our journey. I'm going to spend this time standing watch and keeping us safe. You may run into monsters. Are you prepared? Oh. Been a while since I've done this. When I was in the Shadow Guard, my sharp hearing usually meant I was put on watch duty. At the time, most of my missions were confidential. That kind of thing can never become public knowledge. Wow. Even now, I can't go into details. But I was desperate to, to protect something important to me, important to me. That's what it was all about. Wow. It must have been difficult for you. Well, that was a long time ago. Now it's just another memory of my youth. Maybe I'm still a desperate man, but my heart feels lighter now than it was. Perhaps the difference is having comrades I can trust. I'm glad you can trust us. Yes, it's all thanks to you. Perhaps if you do succeed one day, you if you do manage to build an ideal country of kindness for all, then I would protect the land with all I have. I believe we two tribe toward the same world, so I'd gladly fight for it, not in secret like I did in the Shadow Guard, but as a true official knight. If it really is possible, nothing would make me happier. So that means... You want to be a knight commander, eh? Now that's an idea, a UGF as knight commander. It turned the kingdom on its head. It is thanks to you that I can speak so freely of such lofty ambitions. Had we never met, I'd never considered any of this. That's a rare quality. It'll be fine. I'm sure people are drawn to your natural charm too, Heisme. Ha! Hard to imagine, but truly, people of your character are few and far between. I shall rely on you all the more, Captain. I've rather dragged the conversation on, haven't I? It's all good things remain quiet out there. Wait! It's quiet no more! An enemy comes! Repair yourself! This one's out of the ordinary! Oh, we're fighting! Okay! We prevailed somehow. I decided to take a breather with Highs Bay. Good grief. They're off us, and that's how we want to. All thanks to the Watchmen, eh? The render is safe, and we learned a valuable lesson in the process. You're welcome to visit again if you'd like. of a new king draws nearer. What to pick?
Now then. For our finish, we simply refer to our meals as meat. Something to keep in mind is where it's cut from. The taste and texture can change dramatically. Each type of cut has an ideal preparation. Which type of cut do we have here? Never mind. Leave this to me. Hmm. All right. Yes, not bad so far. See the juices there? That's proof that it's checking out delicious. We add a little something for the aroma and we're done, but just a little or it'll overshadow the flavor. <clears throat> it's curative coney roast, right? Coney roast? What are they doing to my man Coney? <laughs> Oh, you can only do it once without time passing. Okay. Oh, let's train crows. Well, hey. Want to hone our weapons? Then. Uh, what do you think? So. Right, let's have a look at your blade then. Got it. Naturally, it's important to sharpen one blade, but we must take special care of the tip. The tip's more effective when facing off against armored opponents to pierce gap in the armor that rather than case. slashing them. What's the most important quality of the sword for that manner of the for that manner of attack? Oh, that's right. Yeah. I'd say the sharpness of the point. That's right. For gaps in honor, the simmer, the, sh the thinner and sharper, the better. My father has always said that, and I always think of it when doing sword maintenance. All right. For nobles, a sword is ornamental. Still, my father emphasizes the importance of its practical use. Indeed, as a child, I was lost around a sword. Learning those lessons back then is how I can fight alongside you today. I'm constantly reminded of how indebted I am to my parents. Why do I feel so... This game is making me feel so bad for every single character. The party finally oh, it's the sand flash today. Shit, whatever. However, if true, his only visitors these days are the rare blades and shimmering jewelry. Merely a trap to draw in more victims. Or something else entirely. Now then. Gotta get back on. Hmm. Well. Here we go. Okay. Hey, right, let's go. Let's go. We're gonna have to play it in a sand flash, but it's okay. What are we searching for again? Do you have any idea where this ring is after we're going for? <laughs> nope, no good. Can't tell where it is all. But on the bright side, there's a bunch of treasure. Do you call do you recall that our objective here is finding the ring? Weak foes shall only exhaust us, and I'd rather not make camp in the tomb. Now what am I to do? That wall feels off, but it won't push when I give it a push. 
What? This wall's got kind of a weird pattern on it. I can hear sound coming from the other side. Maybe a key? Fuck! I hate these fuckers. Oh right, it doesn't matter if we hit weaknesses or not. We got recarm? We found some amazing enigmatic accessory. Kill him. Honk me, me, me. Let's go, gang squad. Punch him. Smooth finish. Great work, everyone. Damascus daggers is neat to have. Our immediate vicinity is secure. We should be safe. Okay, there's nothing up here. Sounds crazy. Fuck you. Someone 
Thank you. Party to sleep. Oh, that'll be useful yeah. for the dungeons. A new means of protection. Retained my edge. I see. Fascinating. This right here. All right. I'm counting on you. Of course. I see. The Mage Knight. I take it with you. Okay, maybe there's a key somewhere in here, they said. I 
imagine that would be of use. I don't know what it does. Tell me what it does, and maybe I'll agree. Noble sun hat. I know this sounds unbelievable, but I thought, thought I was almost eaten by a treasure chest. If you came here looking for treasure, I think I'm done with treasure chests for a while. There you go. So I found out this music, this, the language they're singing in the song is Esperanto, which is literally a language made to quote, unite all tribes. And I think that's insane. Like, okay, Stroll mastered brawler. So, uh, Stroll, let's have you be commander now. I see. Fascinating. This writing, all right? I'm counting on you. Of course. Yeah. Oh. A new ability. Okay, we have not been up here yet. Oh, that's a large chest there. Pays off. 
Uh, I think we have to go for that chest there. How do you get the Devil Summoner? Because I know there's a... Summoner... Meta... Metaphor... Let's open it. Fuck it. Hello. This is no good. Yep, that's a trap, all right. Wouldn't it be wiser to not open it? I concur, but there's no. Why? Winging only prolongs this. Let's tear it apart and be done with it. Warrior. I want to fight the boss. Oh, this is annoying. Oh, 
nothing. Just kill him. Whatever, we win. To ever greater heights. Even right. I had I more get to used learn. to this. Rebellion increases critical rate for one ally. Nice. I thought I was gonna have a heart attack. That got ugly. So? Oh. To a room somewhere, perhaps. A room under lock and key. I see. Then. Be careful. Uh, do you mean our risk pays off? All right. Yes, that must be the ring. Did you say something about that ring having some sketchy backstory? Only we heard that misfortune befalls the ring's owner, and if the place we found it is any indication, absurd, oh. foolish superstition at most. How about you try putting it on your finger then? Oh, well, uh, you see. Galaga, you try you putting it on. Why me? It's way too big for me anyway. You take it, Joker. Please. No, then. In that case. Let's return to the entrance. Very well. Let us return to town today. We can focus on the mission once we're back there. found the ring the shady cuculus guy wanted. We'll let him know soon and maybe we'll finally be able to get Gideus' dagger back. Can we really trust him though? He conveniently t forgot to tell us that the place was full of fake treasure chests. No denying that, but if we want the dagger back, what choice do we have? Was that a joke? The deadline is. It'll be a few days into the Red of Bride when it's restored. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer.
What? That has me stats. Let's have Heisme study, Commander. All right, then. Let's head there right away. Hey! What'll it be? Understood. Where to? Uh, we'll take out with Hulkenberg. Now then. What ought we do today? If you have time, shall we continue our training? Despite Stroll's little outburst the other day, he's been quite tr diligent in his training since. Duke of Persona 5, you can't fall behind now. Speaking of. I recall our practice swords are broken. Shall we go buy new ones at the Capitol's weapon shop? Should be a simple thing to teleport there, no? I'm glad we found some sturdier sparring swords. Hopefully they shall win me some measure of redemption for the other day, hmm? On the authority of the Knight's Orders, your crime shall be repaid with death. That voice, is that Verdant? You may remember, he's my former comrade you'd met before. Do it. Hold. Well, if it isn't Hulkenberg, I'd ask that you not interrupt my duties. This is your duty? What Knight Commander presides over execution? It is only right. Those who do this nation harm shall be punished. So then. What did you have clearly done? Treason. This fool, a petty officer of the military police, slandered the honor of the royal knights. Honor? What honor? The royal knights of today are honorless. You've forgotten any oath to the throne. Now you're just dogs barking on command. You insolent. Bring me a whip. Hanging is not enough. You cannot be serious. This insolence is why you'd have him killed. This, after all the trifling sinners he sent to the gallows, righteous fury rings false from a hypocrite's mouth. <laughs> now die, dishonor! Ride like the maggot you are! Heed my words. Treason's only reward is death. Therein lies atonement, whether it is for the knights or the people. They could kill me for any reason they like. The way MC literally flinch? But this is beyond outrageous. You've authorized nothing less than public butchery. Maintaining the capital's order is the knight's duty. Tis only natural that we punish those who spread lies. You. Have you sold your soul to the Sanctus? Were you blinded by prospects by the, your win of the coronation? It hardly matters who take the throne as long as the royal knights still stand to flank it. This is the role of one who has risen to the post of Knight Commander. One's burdens are different from those of the free reeling and frivolous, like yourself. You infinite coward! You poison toad! Is this the shape of your so-called loyalty? Bold words. One would almost think you, you and your friends seek the hangman's noose yourselves. 
Try if that's what you want. Joker, no, if something happened to you, hmm, if I seen your whelp haven't heard the hold out your tongue. Pity stays my hand today, but there will not be a next time, Hulkenberg. Power is not a tool to torment and kill the innocent. It is meant to guide the weak and vulnerable, that each and every one of us might live together in a better country. Apologies. I apologize. I forced you into the trouble, into my troubles again. He's the one in the wrong here. Haha, <laughs> all the same. I'm glad you're in here. You're here with me. Who knows what would have happened had I been alone? Somewhere in my heart, I expected he might still understand me. I would count such blind faith among my weaknesses. Should it ever be me who strays from the past and future, I only ask that you remind me of my purpose under any circumstance. Can I entrust this to you? You have given me such. The truth is. I'm partly to blame for Rudant's brutality. No, the day has already left me exhausted. We'll speak more from this some other time, away from prying years. Like those? The man behind Hulkenberg. I feel I've seen him before. What do people do today? Time with Heisman, time with Brigida, time with Nurse. Is Heisman available? I don't think he is. I'll be waiting. Oh, we need to raise courage to talk to her. Okay. Uh, let's go to... Let's go. Okay. You have more thanks. But... Well, let's talk to the scammer. Where is he? Where the fuck is he? He's somewhere here, right? Here he is. Interesting. You actually managed to retrieve Malvolo's Malvolo's ring. That's actually impressive. I took for a talented, but you're more of a gem than I thought. A gem? Anyway, don't take your end of the bargain. Of course. I've already looked into it. In fact, I can go get your dagger back right now. Stay hidden and let me do the talking. Greetings. You Mr. Hellion yet? I'm here on behalf of your father back in hometown. You see, he's collapsed. It's that frightful illness that, what, you weren't aware? The illness requires a very specific herb to treat, one native only to Virga Island. Now, if the travel expenses were taken care of... Well, then. Yes, just the dagger, then. I'll make arrangements to procure the herb, and then you can take it to him. <laughs> I recovered your dagger, though he's given me the clothes off his back, though he'd have given me the clothes off his back if I'd asked. Figured you'd not approve of that. It's a lie, by the way, about his father being sick, but his time's far away, so we'll be long gone before he finds out. Anyway, here you go. All right. Two hundred eleven. No need to thank me. The effort you went too far exceed mine. You have no idea of the ring's importance to me. With this, everyone will finally be free. Oh, nothing. Anyway, as thanks, please allow me to help you. You're the one real deal, the one truly fated to be our next king. And I can see you'll need my winning strategies to do it. Let me guess, that winning strategy is that smooth talking. I don't think we need any con artist training. 
Come now, deception is more of an art than you know, and I have something of a knack of it for see. You're kind, honest, to a fault, really. And for an upstanding chap like you to become king, you need to become some. You need someone versed in darker, grayer areas. Someone like me, of course. My goddess doesn't come without strings. This is business. You give me information, information about the places you visit, trends in the tournament, or royal magic. In that case, I need to let you in on one thing. My real name of Alonzo. Anyone calling me Cuculus is one of my marks. Best if you forget that name whatsoever. Remember those winning strategies I mentioned? Well, the first lesson starts now. I imagine oh. you've led a rather rough life, considering the tribe you hail from. The world yeah. is full of unsavory sorts. That's why if you want to improve your life, you must never show a scoundrel mercy. If you're made a fool, you must pay it back in spades. Kindness is weakness, and the weak get robbed blind. I'll keep that in mind. Regard this not as the art of deception, but rather how to steal hearts. Reference? Way, Reference? Is that a Persona 5 reference? He's not trustworthy, but he does seem clever. Perhaps I could use him. The devious schemer, Alonzo, nurture thy bond with him. The faker. I assumed you were but a momentary distraction. But there's more to you than that. Who wears the crown next matters little to me. But if it's you, I wager it'll be quite a ride. I'll be heading to Brylehaven after this. Let's meet again there. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Hmm. No, we shan't. All right, then. What? Pardon? All right, then. Maybe? They do get debilitate. Let's go hang out with Maria. What now? A new power to wield. Now. 
Hey, mister, I talked to Miss Fabiana and I wanted to talk to Papa, too. Actually, never mind, it's nothing. Um, I want to go to the cathedral. That's why. Maybe I could talk to him if we went, we, I went there. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no. I wonder if Papa heard me. Hold on. What did he tell him? I told him that I'm sorry. Um, I thought Papa had abandoned me, but I was wrong. So I told him I was sorry. Miss Fabienne told her, t said I could tell her anything, so I talked to her about a whole lot of things. I told her about Papa and how lonely I was after he gone, and she listened to me. I was wrong the whole time. I'm sure your Papa must be relieved to hear that. Yup. Uh, um, mister, Papa's job, do you think I could do it too? You mean killing Luis? Miss Fabian told me his job was to make sure everyone was okay. I loved it when Papa made sure I was okay. When I cried, he'd give me a really big hug and that always made me feel better. So I want to be like Papa. I want to make sure everyone is okay too. Oh, this poor kid. But I don't know how to fight. Does that mean I can't do it then? Why don't you try to make the people around you smile? Sometimes that's enough. That's really all I have to do? Then I'll do it. First, I'll make sure Miss Fabian is okay. I wonder what I can do to make her happy. What's something Miss Fabian wants? She says she doesn't need anything like pretty clothes, so I was thinking flowers and some snacks and a new sign. She says the sign always got beaten up by the weather. If I make it look pretty again, will that make her happy? <laughs> Alright, I'll do ju just that. I'll make a new sign. This will have Papa and Miss Fabian and me and you all smiling. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> this poor kid! <laughs> Oh my god, this is just Nautico 2, and it's still... This is just Nautico 2, and it's still sending me. She's literally just Nautico, but again, and yet... This is still one of my favorite social links in the game, or sorry, bonds in the game. Mm. Oh wait, do you know how to make a sign, mister? Don't forget, it also has to have pretty pictures on it. If so. Let's ask Nurse, he's pretty good at drawing. Is that the person who drew those pictures of your journey? Yeah. I want to come with you, I want to talk to Mr. Nurse. Ooh, thank you. Okay, come back home soon, mister, I can't wait. Poor kid. Hmm. Yeah. I let's raise courage. Is there an opportunity in the town to raise courage somewhere? You know what, the platform over there, it's a mirror that shows you what you're made of. Times like these, you need courage words count. Only thing is to jump for it is to jump headfirst in the Karen. You can free to take a challenge. You first must believe in yourself. Rope fee is only 250 reeve. Good, good. That's a spirit. You think you have the spirit after coming eye to eye with the bottom of the valley? Are you sure you can handle this? I can see your legs trembling, but I suppose you can't turn your back on this point. All right, it looks like everything is set. Let's get ready. The die is cast. My fate is set. Whee! 
What the? He dove off with his back to the ground. Oh, but he's falling off surprisingly gracefully. Impressive. I enjoyed watching that, so I wanted to give you something for making my day. Go on, take it. I sense that jumping off a high place has increased my courage. It moves so slowly! What the fuck? <laughs> That razor popularity? The age of a new king draws nearer. All right then. What? Pardon? Why? You. What are you up to? Ironic how fidgety one gets set, gets when told when to wait. Do you have some time right now? It's about what we discussed last time. Oh, right. My home, the village of Halios, on the outskirts of Grand Trad, and we'll need the runner. With the runner, we can make it there and back before dusk. The I can't help but feel guilt to request it for such a personal matter. It doesn't look like anyone has lived here for quite some time. Traveling here by Gauntlet Runner, you'd think we're practically net door for the counter. Yet, as I fled from my life, the needless settlements felt leagues away. I recall wanting to lie down and give up on several occasions. This was once the village's main road, full of people Truth crossing is. every which way. You'd be able to see the mountains cresting the horizon above the rooftops. It was beautiful. I wish you could have seen it like that. No, no. I know I'll see it someday. Why didn't you like that answer? I mean, you rebuild. I meant that, like, in the sense you rebuild the town. I didn't mean that to be insulting. I meant that in the sense that, oh, you'll rebuild the town. I'm sorry. Yeah, only the blink of eye at the same time. Afterward, I was shuffled between various relatives. Nothing more than another amount to feed. Fitting, I suppose, the burden I'd become. I went to the side of our manor, but all I found was rubble. A few walls were sort of standing, but it was a sorry sight compared to how I see it in my mind. Except I discovered a letter. Take this. There's a corner of my father's study that have seemed to be designed to withstand a fire. I found a box there with a letter inside, and I recognized the writing as my father's. Hey. I'm afraid that I must ask a favor of you. I have no doubt this is his will. And I know I must read it, but I'm going to go over there and do that alone. Would you mind reading nearby? Yeah. Thanks. Mm. Well, it's a good thing we found this. Seems they do indeed have an inheritance. The will said the family's treasure was dispatched to the royal capital. What? You yeah. made its way to the capital? Yes, but it doesn't give a specific location. The letter is unfinished. I mean, how could it be? No one expected a murderous, rampaging human. <sighs> Try not to let the anger win. Sorry. My father names me the Sawyer of his state. He is even addressed the letter to my beloved son, Leon. I feel only shame at such endearments, but as it says now, the inheritance has only one purpose. To repay the debt so to my parents and my people. So if they would see our house rebuild, 
I'll be whatever they want me to be, a noble of prominence or otherwise. If I can make the people speak the name of House Halaitus with reverence, and once it lives on the tip of people, everyone's tongue, maybe then I'll be able to embrace the words of my beloved son. <laughs> no! He loves you anyway! Dude! Use my nobility for good. Hmm. But first things first. I'm sure you trusted the inheritance to someone in the capital, but I have no clue what they might be. Who that might be. Say, um. What was your father like? He was a big man, so much so that standing to my mother made him look teeny. But despite his size, he solved the problem with his head, and he never treated people as less for him. In fact, he used to handpick the fish he would bring back to the household as gifts. Grand Trad was able to source fresh fish from Brawlhaven, but in Hollyhaven there was a rare feast. Uh -huh. Maybe they something. They spoke highly of the fish in the market, so he must have gone to the same one every time. Maybe they'd remember him. That may be our best lead. And I'm afraid I shall once more again take advantage of your generosity. When we return to Grand Trad, will you help me walk in my father's footsteps? It could still turn out fruitless, but I'll need all the help I can get. All right. Let's head back. Hmm. All right. Where to? What now? Where the fuck is the fish? Dear me. Please, if you might deign to help. I want the fish. All right, then. Where to? What is it? There's probably a place somewhere here to take a test of courage. Let's go. 
let's do courage again. Even a protagonist. What? How aware are you, Galica? Well met, eh? Good, good. <laughs> now then. Okay, there we go. We raise courage to level three. Why, that's... <sighs> Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Who is the fish salesman? That reminds me, I had business with the fishmonger. What a can't really do his own shopping. The Count of Halia, and how do you know such a great man? You're acquainted with his son, you and Elza, and Kalmar nobles aren't really known for befriending your kind. What are you playing at? Is this some man of Khan? I'll... You see my skin once when some pain in the arse nobles started making accusations about my produce. He said to be there and stood up for me. Can't see that. A noble buying his things himself. Blimey, you really do know. Did I know another merchant you speak to? He did a fair amount of business. We had an appointment to meet this merchant in front of Regulus Greta Caesar. I already bought the fish first. Yeah, I'm completely lost right now.
Where's the guy who was selling the fish? By the cathedral. Maybe they're only there at night? The Count of Halia met a merchant by the cathedral. of the market. Oh, it requires an Imagination 3 right. skill check. Right, Let's go hang out with Maria again. We'll hang out with Heisme soon, I promise. You say, and no cheap trinket, but one that requires my assistance to create. We need the best, so I came to you. Color me intrigued, you piqued my interest. You really mean it. This design, I believe it's your work, young miss. I'm thus inspired. It's just lovely uh, line work and vibrant colors. A truly innovative schematic. My girl, you're quite the budding artisan. This sign is sure to brighten up even the gloomiest avenues in Grace Boulevard. Now, I know I got a fine cut of wood around you that I was destined for this purpose. It should be crafted in a way that repels both rain and ravenous bugs alike. Hmm. Amazing. <sighs> yeah. Definitely, now that Mr. Nurse is helping, I hope it makes Miss Fabienne happy. Uh... I didn't ask her before we started making it. I hope it won't be a bother. Ahoy, young lady! <laughs> The sign is now ready to astound the people of the city. It should be installed at the optimal angle, so I will need to handle that myself, certainly. To the honeybee.
Aww. An astute observation, but there's more to this than do good work. She's built to last as well. I've undone myself once again. I'm sure you agree. Maria, have you returned home? Um, you know. Look, Miss Fabian, I asked Mr. Nurse to make this for you. The last time was too old, so do you like the one we made instead? Oh, Maria, you... You did this for me? Thank you. Thank you. Of course, I absolutely adore oh, it. Good. I'm so glad. It's a truly wonderful design and so well built, too. The perfect way for the inn to greet new guests. <sighs> Just look at all these smiling faces. If he could see you now, why, he even might shed a tear. Oh! <laughs> Hey, no mind, dear. The sign is so bright. My eyes are still adjusting. Oh. Now then, how about a feast? On the house, of course. And thank you all of this. You will come in and eat. Of course, of course. It would be quite rude to turn down a free drink. Would it not? Not in front of the child, nurse! <laughs> Mission, make sure everyone's okay was a complete success. Yeah, I saw and made sure Fabienne was okay, right? She liked it, but she was crying. Do people cry when they're happy? You're right. Miss Fabian was really happy, huh? Am I just like Papa now? Certainly. I think you've already outdone him. I'm not that good. Will you come to help me again, mister? When you're here, I can do my best. Um, you know. When you give me pictures of your journey, I'm always surprised. I've never seen anywhere else except for this place in the sky. But your pictures always teach me about many places on the outside. <laughs> I want everyone else to have fun too, and I want to give that feeling to a lot of people. There's so many people around you that are always crying or getting upset. Both grown up and kids, everyone is suffering just like I was. But I'm okay now, so I want to make things okay for other people too. I want to make sure that boy is feeling okay, too. Is that, I guess, is that a picture of us on the wall there? Hmm. He doesn't need to come here any longer, and yet, Imagination, we need to raise imagination. We'll do that tomorrow. We should go visit Brigida for now. Where to? She just lost her dog. Her brother only told me how to change, I bet. <laughs> Ah, so it is you. You seem unscathed. I believe I made it clear, but if you really want, if you insist on joining me on the road to hell, there's a place I'd like to go. You. You go through such lengths for me. Then will you come with me? Come this way. The truth is. The ones you took my dog, my brother and other told me how to chase a bag. The anti-igniter extremists. The church has discovered their base. What? What are you planning? Do you even have to ask? Even if the church knew what I'd do with this information, even the church knew what I'd do with this information, that's why they sent it to me. Apparently, this faction is based in a small village, fairly close to Grand Trad. I'm going to go there and eradicate all of them. I'll kill every last one of those extremists. No survivors. And once they get to hell, they can look upon my dog and the eyes and beg for her forgiveness. I'll string their courses up. Three days and three nights to expose the elements. Long enough for everyone to see what happens when you cross me. <laughs> what? You talk big, don't you? You have no desire to be king, yet you parade around as a candidate. You're little more than a fraud. I explained to her that I entered not to take the throne, but to raise someone else who would forge a better future for her country. 
Ha! You expect me to believe that nonsense? But for you to speak such words at this point would mean your goal is seizing the throne is no lie, at least. Fine, if that's how it must be, I will spare no sense to see you fall. The throne ill suits a wretch who can look pat the butchery of a dog. No. I never f thought for a moment it was right for it to die. That it is not right for those who kill to be killed. Is that not your precious equality? I don't want to lose anything else I care about. I understand how you feel. What do you truly understand? You have no idea how much comfort they brought me, and they ripped that away from me, and you say I should just allow it? <sighs> Fine, I'll not do something so unsightly in front of you. I'm going to their base, but I won't kill them right away. I'll find out who did this. We'll try to negotiate clearly and only, and if that doesn't work, then I'll murder them, and we can move on. That's the most I can promise you. That's okay. We'll take my gauntlet, Roman. Dangerous of the night Obviously. be damned. If we break down, so be it. You come for yourself, so be it. If you're going to try to drag me to the light, then you deserve to see what happens. Huh? Is this the yeah. place? Hey, you there. I'm Brigitte. I'm the scoundrel selling ma magic and items all across the land. My village doesn't have the money to buy any. What are you talking about? Oh, are you one of the church? They lied to get you to kill this village! The church has been here several times. They never reported that to me. So if I said... The merchants of Igniters should face the wrath of God, you wouldn't agree? Oh no, we don't have anything to do with Igniters at all. It's not something that really ever comes up here. Hey, Biff, you saw magic Igniters? Wow, brilliant, Papa, I want an Igniter. Enough. I see, say no more. Hmm. This is no hideout. They know nothing. It's not something you can hide in a village such as this. I've been getting detailed reports on the anti Igniters movements from the church. But now I'm not even certain such a force exists. If it's all alive, then what the what does the church get out of it? Uh, Maybe it's you they're targeting, Brigida. In any case. Anyway, I take it back. There'll be no killing today. If you hadn't stopped me, I'd probably have ordered my private army to burn this place to the ground. I'm glad you were here with me. I'm glad to have you at my side. But but my dog was taken from me, and I'll chase this scum to the end of the earth. This is my job, not yours. So our business together is in, is concluded. Still, I'd like to come visit you, Brigida. What are you saying? What could you possibly gain from hanging around me? Well, then, fine. Speaking of, you mentioned earlier of your true aims for the throne. I thought it a clumsy lie, but it does bring to mind a certain someone for me. After the king is crowned, it would be not impossible put, to put anyone on the throne. However, if my suspicions That's are fine. correct, if you are willing to throw yourself into battle for that cause, then I shall support you all the same. Yes. If you'd like to come, then come. Mm. Even I still have a beating heart, so come if you so wish. Time marches on, and, and the age of a new king draws near. The road that was blocked by the landslide should be cleared by tomorrow. We set off to Bridalhaven as soon as it reopens. We've acquired the head we saw, but if we're truly getting good loses good graces, we should endeavor to stand out further from the other candidates. True. Right, let's go hang out with Heisme. Hmm. Maybe the captain would lend me his strength. Ah, it's you. Once we get more pressing goes out of the way, I won't be sure what to do with myself. 
I don't suppose I can ask your help with something. I know I'm imposing, but you mentioned the spot we told about finding a spot. We spoke about finding a spot to lay my son to rest. I happened across a nice place the other day. You go, then. The place I'd like to go is a cemetery on the outskirts of town. Plenty of new graves, possibly victims of those dark doings at the castle. Perhaps my boy would find solace here among his own age. But it seems they don't cremate their dead here. Go on my son feeling out of place, being the only child here in so much pieces. Hard enough for a boy his age to fit in. That means my thanks. I think we do want to check other options. How about somewhere deeper in the forest? If you don't mind indulging me, you do a bit further. Hmm. Seems a peaceful place at first glance, but it's not really so, is no. it? Pattering footsteps from beasts among the trees, the smell of animal waste. I can feel them eyeing us from the shadows. Uh, it might be too dangerous. I can't stand the thought of hungry beasts Wait, disturbing his grave. Still, I think it's too early to, see, to make a decision. I'd like to look at other locations if you, if you don't mind. My thanks. I appreciate your understanding. You're certainly more patient than I was at your age. The truth is, all beauties travel far and wide to find the perfect resting place. Some build an altar at home. Some scatter the bones in the sea, and some bury them beneath the great tree. That said, both simply bury the bones in the village communal cemetery. After all that contemplation, they come back to where they started. Those people used to irritate me to no end when I was younger. I loathed their indecision and looked down on them for that. But I guess I got on in years. I came to understand some things. Sorry, I can't do the voices 24-7. That's why, if you lose someone, you do need time for that very hesitation. I certainly found I do. Haste will not ease my woes. So. That being said, this isn't your concern. You've already done more than enough for me. It'll be fine. It's fine. We'll give it as much thought as you need. Are you certain? Then. You truly are an oddball. Then, why, why we take to the gauntlet runner again? This time I'd like to see a place full of open space. Maybe I'm just imagining things. What happened? What no. is it? Looks just like a place my son my loved. Son. I think it was about the time he finally started walking. When he stumbled and fell, he always leapt back up, all smiles. He would chase bugs through the grass fall ta far taller than him. Laughing even when he fell, bringing me flowers and pebbles clutched tight in his little <sighs> fist. Even now, tis that he might burst out of the grass at any moment, beaming and covered in birds, but I just know it's just an empty fantasy. You've endured so much pain. My apologies. Apologies. I didn't mean for you to see me like that, but yes, this could be a fine place for him to stay. The silence is peaceful, the wind is gentle. It feels a place wholly apart from the nightmare of our world. I'm sure my son would love it too. He always loved to run with wind in his face. And yet, the truth is... I just have one thing holding me back. Hmm. That sweet smell of the wind. It reminds me of a faraway hill. The hill where my hometown lies. What? You're just now remembering about your hometown? It occurred to me, yes, but I've not visited once since I left. I sincerely oh. doubt they welcome me back. A wind blows in my home, sweeter than every, than any I ever know. Well, let's just go and see. But no, you're right. I cannot let my floundering deprive my boy of his proper place. Walking this ground with you, I find myself determined to return home again. It feels like something I never realized alone. I'm great for our paths have crossed. Hey, now I'm. Thanks for putting up with my indecisiveness, at least. Let's head to the village another day. Call upon me when you can spare the time. For now, let us rejoin our comrades.
Where to? We're a fourth through this game! If it's actually 80 hours, like they said. Uh, what do you think? I need to use the bathroom again. I'll be right back. Don't forget my phone, because they fixed my door. Have you seen these Game Freak leaks? I think they're crazy, but like, they apparently the Nintendo had more written going in depth on human and Pokemon relationships. Like, as in, haha, -ha, funny, Vaporeon, please like and subscribe. It's what the fuck? Well, we're finally leaving this place tomorrow. What? Why? Pardon? All right, then. Well met, eh? Look, it's the other and the fairy. We finished the story of the bread, but I don't mind telling it again if you'd like. Nearer. 
A man had relations with an auxiliary? What that mouth do though? and dueling mayhem now it's time for the real thing sounds like we've lost a few candidates already too poor bastards went after something too nasty for their head hunt and got themselves head hunted we've got some candidates who have outright given up no confidence can't blame them against these odds and some others have bought and sold out of come on that's a bit unfair isn't it I suppose money's power like anything else. Military strength's not meant to decide this race anyhow. The question is, what's our final headcount going to look like? They bought people? people and will not know the truth until the exhibition. A little bird told me one of our contenders has made a bold play in Margera. They might not even come oh? out it with a head. What are they scheming then? Let's hear some details. Sorry, chums, I'm just the crier. Can't speak for any one candidate in particular. Has he been but spying on us? Not have long to wait now. With all that said, can't help but wonder how Count Luis is taking this, can we? My sources say he's not bothered with any of this. He's still gallivanting across the land, killing humans. And yet, and yet. Even without a formal entry, Luis's voter base is still growing. Bound to have his eminence, Forden, grinding his teeth back. For now, let's enjoy the show! Right, everyone. Farewell said. Particulars packed. All that remains is to ride to Oceana with pride in our hearts. Watch out, Louis. Yep. You won't know what hit you. Well then, we're off to the races, what? Oh, Barden's giving me a detailed map of the area. Sounds like quite a journey. I hope it won't be as bumpy as last time. Oh no, it'll be a sight smoother. But you've got wings. What are you fussing for? Oh, there it is. Should have known the fatigue would hit eventually. About time I got some sleep. What? Hi, mate. Why are you on my bed? You're positively miniature, man. There are plenty of other places fit for you to sleep. You're positively miniature. Yes. Splendid. Just magnificent. What is he dreaming about? I hope you've no designs on taking my bed. I have cut men down for less. With friends like these. Now then. Next is Port Browhaven. If we punch out the Martyria, I take it say we'd take us three nights, four days or so. Oh hey! We're gonna run into what's your face? Whoa. Wow, so that's Port Browhaven. But wait, I here's where we are now. This place here. Oh, hey! Droves of people would be there for the exhibition. All the people delayed by the landslide might keep showing up. Might still be showing up. Keep an eye on the road, okay, Norris? What do you think you're talking to? Leave it to me. Next up, Port Browhaven, capital of Oceana. Leaving behind the old castle town stricken by tragedy, the gauntlet runner sets off toward the exhibition of the brave. Their destination, Port Brylehaven, capital of the Principality of Oceana. A world unknown to them. What will they accomplish? A claim? Or... Bomb, bomb. What to pick? All right, then. 
party sets off for Martira. As they watch the setting sun sink under the horizon, their gauntlet runner arrives in a land grown thick with trees. The wildlife retreats to safety before the sunlight fades, leaving only deafening silence. The anticipation that follows a journey's beginning swells in their hearts. Have you heard? There's a bath cask on the back deck now. Hmm. It'd be lovely to soak a soak while we're stuck. Fruits and grasses. Should you encounter such item, you maybe you like to give it a purpose purchase. The breeze feels nice. But I'm looking for something to do. My weapons are as sharp as they're gonna get. That reminds me. A false Herkenberg now hides me. That having more reliable comrades at your side never hurts, but it's too early to celebrate considering that it's Lewis we're up against. As much as I'd hate it, there's no denying he's still the strongest mage out there. What's more? He surrounded himself with powerful allies, too. Right, beyond Zorbe has no shortage of servants all too happy to forge his path. Not to mention we have the royal magic to contend with. To put it bluntly, we don't stand a chance at a frontal assault. But don't misunderstand. If we pool their powers, we may be able to surpass him. Nothing is impossible. That's what I've come to believe since I met you. Since you first awakened to your power. Now then. Did imagination rank up? Okay, set. That means we can rank up stroll. Imagination. What the heck? Is it that time already? Uh, it's not that late. Let's let us continue discussing. Stroll and I talk for a while. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. That reminds me. We'll arrive at the ocean the day after tomorrow. Hasme, you've erected a tent up above. Do you get careful you don't get carried off by the wind? I'm confident it'll take more than that to carry the tent apart, though I suppose some caution is warranted. Worst case scenario, you've got wings. You could just fly back to us, right? My young friend, when did you hear Yugi for a capable of flight? I hate to disappoint, but they're rather more for gliding. <sighs> We've really got news to all this traveling, don't you think? I want to check on my seeds. Will that take time to harvest the seeds too? Joker, you've come at the perfect moment. I was just thinking of ponder some battle strategy over my game board. An abstract game of military tactics, you see. You dare to indulge me in a round? All right. I should give and expect no quarter. Now come. So Are we playing chess? If that's how you plan to make your advance, then... We're playing hexagonal chess. I can't make any more moves. That's the match. Mm. My, I learned quite a bit from that match. I think we would both learn a bit. This game affords me the opportunity to visualize strategies all on my own. What if an enemy came at that from that angle, sort of angle? How would I retaliate, and so on and so forth? I'd say... I once failed in my duty to protect His Highness the Prince. At that time, I was but a novice, a new addition to the Royal Guard. I lacked the expertise needed to properly assume That's the role. Right. It is for that reason that I trained both body and mind thoroughly, so thoroughly. I vowed never to let such a thing occur once again. Well then. 
I'm nothing of the sort. My body bears scars of my myriad weaknesses. That said, it's a pleasure to speak so freely with you. I find comfort in knowing that I may share a feeling with a compatriot. If we find strength in this endeavor and create a country where we can all truly live equally, I hope to serve as a knight captain, captain passing down that knowledge I gain. I will speak not just of tactics, but of my experiences on this journey, my victories, and of course my failures too, and in doing so, I would see the Royal Guard elevated to new heights, I hope. Yeah. If anyone yes. can do that, it's you, Hulkenberg. Well, should such a starry-eyed wish come to you, I should tell them much of you, our captain. Such a position is certainly not most could adapt to, much less succeed in, given the circumstances of our fight. And I must say, you wear the world well. It's just hard to believe it's your first foray into such a responsibility. Perhaps you've a natural talent for it. <laughs> but to call it a talent is a disservice. No, whatever higher calling you have, I can only be as I am now because of you. No need to exaggerate. That was certainly not my intent. After all, was it not you that Galica set the cogs of this journey into motion? There's some significance to you being captain. You have my gratitude. After crossing proverbial swords with you, I feel that I'm one step closer to realizing my dream. All right. All right. Now then, shall we just continue our discussions? For example, when a piece moves here, you should... This is Nurse! I got something on the old girl's radar, so we'll be taking a short stop! The city ruins come to view. This place once flourished through the excavation of magla crystals by migrant workers. The work was hard, but the miners were hardy and spirited. And the promise... What? They gave so much lore to even the littlest things in this game, and I love that! I love that they made the world feel alive! Seem to scurry home empty handed, gripped by fear. This is, this is truly a harrowing sight. Look at all those crystals. Simply coming here is enough to wound the soul. A chill settles into my very bones as I consider what could have occurred here. Something wrong, lad. Did the gauntlet runner get the best of your stomach again? No, I was just reminded of something unpleasant. Okay. Right. Are you okay? Yeah, sorry to cause you any concern. I know what destroyed this village. I have no doubt about it. This is the work of a human. Indeed, the scars left apart this place differ from the traces left by monster attacks or acts of war. Right, I don't know if the Magagla crystals are what attracted the human, or if the attack caused them, but my hometown will eventually... stroll. I make no assumptions about run to, run to the Rhine, but I asked the time you... I asked you to recall the time when we cut down the human that, in the castle. Do not allow your thoughts to dwell on such negativity. The day will come when both this place and your homeland will flourish once more. Yeah. Yes, I suppose you're right. My stomach sends notice that our next meal is overdue. Why don't we head back? So I guess Nurse can read the room when he wants to, huh? Let's put this place behind us. Yeah. By the way, I made another drawing. This picture will bring viewers no joy, but it is an important sight to document nonetheless. As the sun sinks below the horizon, the gauntlet runner arrives in a land dense with trees. The glow of the gauntlet runner... You. Why don't we take a little rest and talk a moment? No trace of enemies around by my eyes. Peaceful for now, which means we get to have a little break. Good grief. Time to bid farewell to Martira, isn't it? 
I can't help but feel a connection to that place. The village from which I originally hail from is not far from Martia. There, there, agrees with my skin more than Grand Trads. Despite all the terrible things you experienced, I bear no affection to the period when I was branded a kidnapper, but hardened bring no ill will to those whose children were taken. Speak of which, where's your hometown? I heard before that you received this mission from the hidden village where this highness the prince lives. All right, my apologies. I didn't mean to ask for such prejudice. Your tribe faces even harder prejudice than the Yuji. I'm not proud if you'd rather not discuss it. There are none alive who wouldn't want to forget certain aspects of their past. But if that's truly the case, then perhaps it is not one's past that defines their character, but what they do in the present and future. If we were all to face the future together, then perhaps someday we could find ourselves living in a world that resembling the one from the novel you carry. All right. I'm glad I have such an opportunity to converse. It's such a good night's rest of age you. I shall keep you company in its stead. Oh, right, we already ra got rank three imagination. Oops. Well, whatever. Time marches on. And, and the, the age, age of, of a new king, king draws, draws nearer. nearer. Oh, the salty yet strangely refreshing aroma. At this rate, we should brow him by tomorrow. Seawater? I thought so. The air feels more clammy, so I assumed that what it was. And so we put the forest behind us at long last. That means we must have ventured beyond where the cliffs collapsed, barring back passage. It would speak seem that it was fixed without a trace of its ruin. And speak of ruin, Nurus, we do remember that we are relying on you for safe passage the rest of the way. Nurse said the waters around Brawhaven are kind of strange. Wonder what he meant by that. All right, then. I do want to check something in the engine room real quick. And then I know one of these things... Give EP, right? The old man had a hunch about a tomb northwest of Brawlhaven. Wasn't there a Chris Cemetery there? The one where the victims of the epidemic. Alright, thank you. That'll be important to go do. Come on. Got it. Uh doing laundry is what raises MP, right? Washing the clo clothes can sometimes cleanse the mind, too. Someone else has laundry in there. I'll go get them, and they can do laundry with us. The truth is... The truth is, I can't say I'm doing hassle of doing laundry. I once tried to invent another approach of doing it all together. I call it the bathe with all your clothes on tactic. What? <laughs> you jump in the bath with all your clothes on, and once you're done, you hang on a beam to dry out. Clothes and all. Not a bad strategy, but alas, from this design... It as you and your clothes are drying, you become colder and colder. By the morning, I was shivering, and thus the tactic never saw the light of day again. What? The bathe with all your clothes on tactic. Now, who does this belong to? You ought to take it. Our money goes to the same cause, after all. Enemies coming our way! Oh, so I thought. Looks like that Missy's Gauntlet Runner is coming for us this time. Hey, you on that lot! You lot! Yeah, you on the Gauntlet Run over there! You're not becoming king on my rush! I got a short fuse, you know, and if that means you don't come out right now. Are we fighting you again? If she wants a boom, then she'll get one. Wait, they're coming on board at the other end? Well, now we have to accept their challenge. Hello! Do you not recognize her? Better of me last time, but you're about to get some payback. All right, buddy. Give me a break, lady. Ever heard of learning from your mistakes? Sorry, but we don't intend to lose either. Oh, big talk. Well, I'm willing.
going to rewrite my record if that's what it takes to be queen. My people are suffering as we speak. Who's going to save the Parapus if I don't give it all I've got? I'll help! I promised them all I'd become queen. You're all decent people, got nothing against you, but I'm not holding back. Just leave this to me. I love her. She's she's fighting her best for the team, even even despite all this. Like even she's fighting for her people, so I can't really complain about what she's doing. Analyze. Are you prepared? So bad for her now. I'm sorry. A halfway decent result. I shall rise to the occasion. Huh? I have never known the effort is key. Yo, we're sixty we're in the top of hundred. Does that mean we get oh, Oh, damn it, I lost again. If I could just beat you, I'd ask you to join me. But the power of yours is really something. But don't you join me then. But I win win next time. Stop preparing now, got it? Katharina, cheer up. Yeah. I saw you running, so I followed you. You're as tough as they say. 
Uh, Eusidorius, who do you think I am exactly? I, pardon me, I know perfectly well you're the great Katharina Gren. Everyone here knows. In fact, all their hopes are pinned on you. Oh. Are these people migrating to find work, even though it might kill them in the end? What other options do parapets like them have? It's dangerous, but you gotta break eggs to make an omelet. Eusidorius, wait. Take this and see if you can stop everyone else leaving for now. Hey. Good news, what news you lot. Katharina's made a danger generous location. Oh, thank you. Now we can eat for once. Listen, everyone. I know these times are trying, but this kind of work isn't the answer. If you can hold out just a little longer, I swear I'm going to set things right for us. Well, then. Now there we are. We believe in you, Katharina. Mm. I earned that money selling a monster a few days ago. It was meant to be started by Royal Campaign Fund. It's a small price to pay for helping out my people, but it'll last them, what, a few weeks at once? They'll be heading out to find work again in no time. I just can't fault them dying to earn a living. And the fat cats are all too happy when the parapets take them up on it. When I'm in charge, the first thing I'm going to do is offer bounties for their bloody heads. They squeeze those dry, so I'll squeeze them right back. Let's go! Eat the rich! She, she's based! Uh. We're handing out money to make this better? I've got no clues myself. But I had to try something. Even now, tons of those people aren't going to survive. I can tell when... He, I, I, and I can't tell people who aren't eating today to wait till tomorrow while I think of something. I was just lucky, you know? I had the strength to push through and survive. The truth is, most people don't have that kind of strength. That's they need someone to provide it for them. You should know better than most. Those who can act gotta take action. If they don't, nothing in this w w bloody world's gonna change. So many say that there's nothing to be done, but they only say that because parapets are right where they want them. Beneath everybody. They only have parapets... They couldn't have the parapets doing well for themselves. They, that would shake up the shoddy ground they're standing on. They, they like this twisted world just as it is. Let's change things ourselves. That's exactly what I plan on doing, Joker Persona 5. With every and with anyone able to take the throne, now's a time to chance, which means I can't just take it, hand it to you either. Much obliged, Joker. We may be enemies, but I like having these socks. I'm not as powerful as I need to be, but still, I reached out to the recruitment center, and we should be seeing bigger rewards from bounties. Go check on it. We gotta keep taking these monsters down. We'll beat this world into peace together. She now a new I'm not letting anyone die. The pugilist. Next time I see you, I'm taking you down for sure, so don't go dying on me! As the shadows are stretched to their limits of nocturne, meanwhile, the party rests their weary souls, fatigued by the long journey, under the protection of the Gauntlet Run. What's that town to our left there? So we'll be arriving tomorrow. I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of place Browhaven is. What now? I see. Fascinating. This all right? I'm counting on you. Of course. Yeah. Right. I could get used to this. I didn't mean to do that. That is... Let's go take a bath. What 
now. Where's the bath? All right, then. Go. Hey there. Yep. All right, then. Alright, now let's raise imagination. These times should really be spent doing that. Hey. hey, are you looking for something to do? My weapons are as sharp as they're gonna get. What do you think? Have you gotten used to gauntlet runner life yet? Living packed together with others is new for both of us. Do you have any problems adjusting? Yeah. I've got no problems at all, and you aren't ashamed to say it. In a good way, I mean. That's the sort of moxie you need for this stuff. It's a pathetic to admit, but living on the run is wearing me down. It's the shaking that gets me more than anything. Even when we camp, well, I still feel the jolting and jostling. But he did get the hang of using architects fairly quickly, so I expect things will only get better from here. Look forward to my growth, will you? Alright. You're sitting up a bit, yes? Let's chat some more. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Hello? Hello, Mr. Captain! Rise and shine, what? Almost there! Well, Haven. It's been a while. You've been before. My parents took me once when I was a boy. Oh? I remember the day we arrived. And waking up to the smell of the ocean. The place was crowded beyond belief. Everything was so different from our hometown in the countryside. I felt much the same when I reached the royal capital. Quite a sight compared to my little village. With naught but fields and mountains. To be sure. And where are you from? Oh. You cannot guess? Surely Montario in the east. Why, the Hulkenbergs are one of that nation's most prominent aristocratic houses, if not foremost among- You don't say! Well, yes. Though I've no- I see. Suppose we've all come a long way, haven't we? Seems we'll make it to the exhibition just in time. You're a master at the helm, you're bound to, eh? I really hope Joanna shows up. We resolved to trust her. So we simply watch and wait. Right. So th this is not gonna go well. Welcome, ladies and gents, to the Coastal Crown Jewel, Port Rylehaven. Port Rylehaven, capital of the Principality of Oceania, the western annexed state of Ucronia, a vivacious city. Rylehaven is something is gonna happen. Both trade and war, bustling with hardy sailors. From the natural wonders caused by Magna to the Colosseum's contests of strength, people flock here to see the marvels of a city that never sleeps. The sea guides the gauntlet runner into the city alongside a wolf. There's so many anime cutscenes. out of the distance. Sancta Godot, you've brought us quite a magnificent head. How do you think it'll stack up against your competitors? 
With the warrior monks at my side, there is nothing we cannot accomplish. But I won't presume to know the rankings. I humbly leave it in God's hands. Why didn't we bring the head of the human that we killed? Lineup's a bit conventional for my taste so far. Oh, here comes our mysterious little underdog now. Stir things up a bit here, will you? Ah, would you look at these spectacular gauntlet runners? They must all be worthy of king. Looks like Luis is still the only one with a Skyrunner, though. No, no. I'm sure those blasted clergymen have some mechanism for it, too. The Sanctus Church funded the Skyrunners to begin with. If you can call that flying, of course. Birds have never needed magic to fly. Just the mechanical ingenuity of the feathered wing. That's the kind of breakthrough I'd like to make. You'll You'd like to invent it. planes. One day, I'll make those wings reality, and we'll soar like birds. I'm looking forward to it. Good. I'll have you run in the sky with me. Mark my word. If it isn't the pretentious little gallant and his cronies. What the fuck do you want? Headache. <laughs> well, well, well. No head to be seen. Weren't you talking big about chasing down that Heisman fiend? You're referring to me, yes? <laughs> You're the man. This is a joke, is it? He's your great and terrible bounty. You know there's still time to drop out before you humiliate yourself in front of the masses. Say what you wish. He is one of us. It is not his head we are offering. Truly. You're allied with a wanted criminal. Are you all mad? Oh, your public humiliation would be quite a sight. Come, Hector. All right. And that was? A candidate and one of Luis's henchmen. We don't exactly see eye to eye. Confound it. No damn parking space is left. Well, let's look for somewhere a bit less unpleasantly populated. Tomorrow is finally the exhibition to present all the heads. I really hope Joanna shows up. You needn't all sleep here tonight, you know. I can stay and wait for the cavalry. Hope to give the old girl a tune-up anyway, don't I? Okay. It's much appreciated. In that case, we should look for an inn about the city. Ah, I must sample the local delights. They've far better seafood than in the capital. Hope it's nothing too weird. You've nothing to fear. Truly, I find most living things are edible. You need higher <laughs> standards, lady. If you're sure, Nurus, then we'll leave it to you. Me, I long for a proper bed. <laughs> so be it. Let's find ourselves some lodging. Look at all the gauntlet runners gathered here. to go I'll take you to the f for the far oh, bank the merchants bazaar then hop on <laughs> well, 
Well then, if you say you're... But what is there to do now? Hey! This is on sale. <laughs> Understood. How much money do I have? I need more money. But it's fine. We'll be fine. With what we're wearing now. Let's rest. Let's hurry and find an inn so we can get some rest. Yo, the face? You can really see the king's face from here, huh? I'd realized it was moving slowly, but it's coming bridal it's coming to bridal haven Brighaven was beyond my right. I wonder why it came. I do suspect it keeps a watchful eye on the top candidates. It's evident that we're being absorbed, as we've seen with, from the coronation rock. Maybe that's for the better. Seeing that thing in the sky made everyone act really think about the kingdom's future. Anyway, we better find an inn. Look who's here! You're that fellow from Martira, aren't you? Guess we both got ourselves marked through the exhibition. I just got tossed out on my ears. Said it's already full. And the one calling himself the come one come all in. Some joke, eh? There's two other inns nearby, but I'm hardly thrilled with either option. On the other side of the fountain is the Golden Corral Pavilion, where Nobby Wankers like Ford and stay. A papyrus or an elder saying. A a parapus or an Ellis thing, flat bloody chance, and fat bloody chance. And there's an inn past the golden crown, but that one's twice as pricey. Rumors say that's why you find Luis, naturally. Probably brought, bought out the whole place for a rabble rousing crew. Not like we could afford it to begin with. As far as the other option goes, there's a spider's den over by the tavern. There's a dodgy looking Yuji out there, smiling all creepy like. Besides, who needs an inn when there's a tavern? From this day on, I claim it as my castle. I doubt we get much sleep in the tavern. I sure wouldn't anyway. Not that the spider's den sounds much better. I saw you there, Matira, didn't I? Another participant in the tournament. I, were you planning on staying at this inn? Unfortunately, there aren't any beds left. Because of the exhibition, everywhere is full up. And after I told myself I was going to stay somewhere nice this time, too. But wait, that gauntlet run of yours, the one of you, the one you had parked in the middle of Matira, what sort of technology does it use? Let me in on it too. What? Sinji, and here I was going to tell Dad about it, just so you know I'm participating too. I've got a real gauntlet runner of my own and everything. That means if you're too stubborn and refuse to tell me, I'll make you do it by force. What is it you, you there, you look like one of my supporters. Are you? Why can't this lion say yes? Lion say yes! You truly have heard of me. To be granted the privilege of my exquisite form for the first time. Beauty is all is my creed. And more than anything, a king should be beautiful, should he not? At whichever end, in I choose to really rest must be worthy of my resplendent grace. Like this golden corral pavilion. Alas, I doubt you have been blessed with wealth enough to enjoy a room at such a lavish place such as this. And firstly, all the other decent inns, so we've only got one choice left. We should check out the spider's den we heard from Loveless earlier. Yeah. 
This inn looks pretty shady, but I'm not sure we have a lot of other options. Let's talk to the man over there before we head in. On the hunt for lodging, are we? I've got a spare room available. I won't refer this to anyone, and my rooms are affordable for all. Criminals? Persecuted tribes? Oh no, I wouldn't dream of turning business away. Feel free to have a look at the accommodations. We can discuss payment afterward. Well, should have figured they'd be out of the upper room. Tis a far cry from the runner, at least. I am so glad to stretch my legs again. I'd rather stay in the runner. Did you see that giant bug just now? It was like the size of my head. It's got to be poisonous. No, oh, pull yourself together. It's just a, b a b b insect. Well, is is he you? scared of bugs? You can't have lived in a giant sandworm den and been afraid. Oh of right! Sure. Hence the hut. That's why you lived in that hut. Uh, more importantly, we must discuss tomorrow's proceeding. Right. We meet up with Joanna, then get to the exhibition after that. Joanna will admit to the crime. The guilt of a sanctuary, especially of her status, will guilt Forden by association. That should make an impression on Louise. Yet for all this, we need Joanna herself. Do you truly think she would join us? We have to trust her. She chose to offer her own head instead of the monsters. If you ask me, she'd not have done that if she didn't believe it truly was her child. At least in part. I believe she expressed genuine parental love. I want to believe that, at least. And what if she ends up not showing up? I mean, you're the one who got the worst of all of this in the first place. If it comes to that, you've still got my head for the days. You'd... After all, the bounty still says I'm a kidnapper. You'd offer your own head? You not sacrifice an innocent life for our victory. But your offer speaks highly of your spirit. Right, we've done what we can do. All that's left. Is Something is gonna go terribly wrong here. Like they're gonna kill her as soon as she arrives. Too early yet to retire for the night. We could drop by one of the local pubs, listen for what perks our ears, and while we're at it, might as well sit down to a proper supper, eh? <laughs> Good. Oh, haha! Ha, very fun. Sorry, my finger was on the advanced dialogue button. What are we without beauty? What do we care for promises and speeches from repulsive mouths? Beauty is everything, and it is time our country reflected that. Sounds like the candidates have started their speeches. Let's listen in for a bit. Do we need to make a speech? With all skills and talents equal, would you see the crown atop an ugly head or a handsome one? Beauty is power. When I take the throne, all the hideous will be stripped of their titles. Together, we shall build a nation ruled only by radiant, everlasting paragons of beauty. What? Well, he has a point about what people tend to follow. What? This really doesn't bother you. It isn't right. You'd rather wait for a king who was always right, then? Enough about appearance. A beautiful face cannot win wars. Without military power, the crown's voice means nothing. When I am king, I will establish a unified nation with the Roussant tribe as it... Our tribes. Our status. They mean something. You could stray from a monolith, but it will still remain. There can be no true peace without using the power we command. Hear, hear, for Rusat pride. What pride is there in seizing power by force? Disgraceful. When I all the lands corrupt upper classes, We'll be wanted men. We'll have our guillotines sharpened and our wallets opened. Will I get banned if I said I agree with her? At 
this point, at this point, we need to start taking hints from the French. For legal purposes, that's a joke. I don't want to actually hurt anybody in power. I just think she's funny. I'm just saying, in this fictional world, that's pure fiction. I think it's best to do that. Target be the one on the throne, then. Everyone's just shouting all their ideals out. These candidates are all pathetic. Nobody here even compares to Lord Luis. Luis isn't even in the running, lad. Or Blight is afraid of losing to Santifex Ford. You've got it backwards, geezer. He's just not wasting his time on these windbags. I confess. Tis unprecedented. Never before have our citizens come together in the street, in broad daylight, and shared their true feelings on king and kingdom. Indeed. Is this really the kind of change His Majesty wanted? Maybe I'm overthinking it. Let's go in. If we hang around too long here, we're bound to get dragged into a nasty argument. Are we not gonna make a speech? King, pleasures will rule the city. A bar on every block and a flagon in every hat. All you can drink, all year round. I'll drink to that, brother. Now that's my king. Let fools be content with their fool dreams. Grant me the crown, and I will make our kingdom powerful beyond imagining. Most powerful? Don't really mean anything, does it? Aren't you another one of Luis's funkies, hound? Stop barking and get back to your master. Always about that goddamn Luis. I've been in the guard just as long as he has, you swine. Quite a lively crowd. Looks like a great many of them came all the way here to watch the competition. That lad there, he's an elder, isn't he? Are you a candidate too? Well, strike me down, you're right. Never seen one of you blokes before. Might be out of luck in the race, though. You'll not stand a chance. <laughs> and race number 64. Drunk's words weigh nothing. Wow. There are fish swimming in front of the store. Ah, I've heard of this. Tis on the customer to fish up a catch, and the chefs will prepare it for eating. I admit, I'm curious. Shall I sing a shanty for you as you take up rod and reel, Captain? Fishing mini game? Oh hell yeah! It's not a good game without a fishing mini game. Never mind. It's a fishing cutscene. Really edible? It doesn't look quite. By all means, let us try it. Did she even look at it? <sighs> Why, tis, tis. Simply floods the mouth. Ah, and what splendid crunch it has. I guess I'll try a bite. I mean, they wouldn't let us fish up anything outright inedible. I hope. Can't afford to be too picky. Well, at least it ought to be better than the cuisine we suffered in Martira. Ugh. It's rather slimy for my liking. How are they tasting completely different things? Seem to enjoy it so much, but if you're going to eat an unknown fish, might you not at least sear it first? Tis fine enough without, I say. You need way higher standards, lady. Excuse me, friends. Don't mean to interrupt your meal. I'm Batlin, a church crier for the tournament. Maybe you remember me. 
Sounds like you made a hell of a splash in Martira, huh? Felling a vicious beast's one thing, but not many candidates took it figuratively. How did you hear about all this? It's a crier's business to hear things. So, do you have a head ready? Well, let's see. Got a head right here, I suppose. Lips sealed, huh? Well, I'm certainly looking forward to the exhibition then. Especially considering the diversity of your little party. I've always preferred to chase an interesting lead over a sure bet. Can't help it, I'm afraid. So, I have a keen eye out for you. That cry is an odd one. Not really what you'd expect from a Sanctus promoter. Who is he? Rumor has it that young candidate hasn't bought a head. Wonder what he's playing at. Whatever it is, he's about to get a sharp lesson in the ways of the world, poor lad. I think he's worth keeping an eye on. Keep it under your hats, chums. But his power may rival Count Luis. I think he's just the ingredient we need to... Uh, I'm so sus of him. He's the villain. Betting on it now. Just got back from the pub, did you? You wound me. Uh, nobody trusts a radical, huh? I expect you'll see for yourself. Hmm. Joanne and Barney should reach the city by morning, and I imagine they will aim to find us in our gauntlet runner. Nurse ought to be there to greet them. When the day dawns, we should head to the gauntlet runner. The man sloshed again. What happened to waiting for our guests? You utter buffoon! Is <laughs> Seems like Joanna and Barden aren't here yet. Oh, I feared this might happen. And we've no other head to offer the judges. It is a precarious position. No. I'll come. Ah! I'm going to splash some water on my face. <laughs> My sincerest apologies. I wasn't expecting anyone to come in. You see... How did you come to be here? Explain yourself! Is something the matter, Barden? They were here the whole time? I'm so terribly sorry. We heard the gauntlet runner had a washroom, so we thought we'd freshen up a bit. I bathed first and was resting in the back room. Contemplating my final day as a sanctuary. Sir Nurus over there very decently let us in to wash up. I couldn't stand it, old thing. Her heart would bring any right thinking man to tears. Could have run like a ballet thief in the night, but here she is. Oh, it was more than a chap could bear, I say. Needed a drop of the grape and grain just to get myself through it. The bottle's barely any emptier. Was a drop really all it took to get you drunk? Oh, please do not blame the poor man. Talking to him has eased my heart for the trials to come. I cannot let myself betray you and regress to my vile delusions. I only sought to atone with myself before my sins are duly punished. I understand. Thank you for coming. Then, as we agreed, please confess before the crowd when the time comes. To be honest, I'm hesitant to turn you in now you've genuinely decided to repent. I mean, what do you mean? We are icons of virtue ourselves. In fairness, you're a woman of status, and it'll be a big crowd. We're not looking to instigate a public stoning here. You can explain yourself freely in your own words. We can't ask anything more than that. Thank you. 
Truly, I've felt so much more at peace since last we spoke. The fog has only cleared further, giving me clarity of purpose. I don't trust her still. The fog, huh? Thank you for everything. I do hope you win the throne. Yes, I intend to. Whoever the crown goes to, we're at least going to make sure it isn't used for evil. At last, it seems our preparations are set. We need only trust that our plans will be- I don't think it will. They specifically asked for a head. Why didn't we bring the head of the child? Are we stupid just as like a backup player? The very first round of the tournament for the throne, the exhibition of the brave, is about to begin. Our monarchs to be will now present to the people the heads they seize to demonstrate their power as worthy of the throne. At a later date, when the second round is announced, the faces on the king's rock, that is to say, the candidates with the top 20 approval ratings will pass the first round. 20? Tis a great many eliminations in but one round. I was hoping we'd at least make it through the first, but it might not be that simple. And now, ladies and gentlemen, your eyes to the lineup of all the gorgeous faces at the judges' table. Starting with his and her highnesses of Oceana and Montario. Oh, it's a ladyship. Wait, the fucking Senate that works with Forden or run are the judges? And the armor on that fellow over there? And of course, we have the one, the only, the people's favorite, our guest from the Sanctus Church, better known as the Miracle Saint. Healer of all ills, presenting the lovely Lady Rella Signet. Saint? Who's this? Someone fill me in. I've been literally living in a hole. You look like the next party member. We've met, though a long time ago. Even as a student, she was already considered the kingdom's best in her field. Looks like the crowd's on your side, milady. Can you give us a few words about what's on your mind as you take on the judge's mantle? Uh, well, I'm afraid you've rather got me on the spot. <laughs> you look like the next Hello. party member. This city sure has, um, great seafood and, uh, well, sea creatures. Fascinating, aren't they? There's so much we still don't know about them. Oh, I did hear about a legend of some monster in the eastern seas of Oceana. <laughs> Imagine, the mind races. I'm hoping I can investigate those. That's just great, Lady Rella. I'll just stop you there, clock's ticking and all that. But we're thrilled you're enjoying your stay. You look like the next party member. I can't believe you're my sister. Still not much of a public speaker, are you? So she's a saint? Well, she seems like a nice enough lady. We better stop worrying about her and focus on ourselves. I don't see Luis anywhere, but I bet he's got eyes in the crowd. Now, the time has come. Let the exhibition of the brave begin! First up is a respected gentleman of the church, Gido, the head of the monk soldiers of the Crown Theocracy. I've no taste for needless killing. Therefore, I chose a mark with meat, abundant and edible. After the judging, it will be served in a banquet for the poor. A stand-up fellow, my good people. Strength and compassion in one package. He's got the crowd on his side right from the start. Now, is there anyone who can...
can top the... I can. And we have a challenger. Second in line is the church's direct opposition, the spearhead of Count Luis's supporters, Glodel the Black Half. One look at the head and I know what you're thinking. It's small, isn't it? Well, I can bloody well tell you I'm not like this smarmy git who fished up his dinner. I'll tell you what this is. Behold, the head of a hideous human! Where's your proof? Y yes the young son's right. How do we know that's really a human? What drivel? Why did you say that? You think a normal beast could have a face like To this? Louise's supporter. We're we're supposed to be Louise's oh, you made the damn thing yourself. Oh, useless as ever. Did it never occur to him that the average citizen has never seen a human? Now, now, everyone, let's have a little composure, please. Candidate Gladell, we're very much obliged. You may step down. Why did we do that? Now, on to the net. Is that thing? Is that the monster of the Eastern Sea? Someone took the beastie down. Who did the deed? I'd heard tell of a monster tormenting the people of this beautiful port city. He's playing to the whole crowd too. From their suffering, such is the duty of those with power. Who expected anything less? His evidence boredom is simply in another class. Suddenly, the critics have all gone quiet. All I hear is gratitude. Gordon's trophy is more impressive than I expected. How are we going to make a stronger impression than that? It'll be fine. If he'd gone after... No, it's rigged! It would mean we'd have been written off no matter what we presented. Let's count ourselves lucky. Now, now, no dirty looks, you lot. Next is the Pagan Assassin's Prize. Let's see what head we've got now. Thank you, Candidate Julian, for that helpful exhaustion. I need to use the bathroom, I'll be right. Explanation. And I think rather exhausting. Uh, I'll let you listen to the next line of dialogue. Ooh. Now, we've had quite a succession up here, but our last is coming up now. This should wrap up our show.
thank you. Uh, excuse my cough. I need to show who I am. Okay, okay, okay. Right. Sorry about that. I locked myself out of my room. <laughs> I locked myself out of my room. Oopsie. Oopsie. <laughs> So, uh, one minute bathroom break turned into 20 minutes. Fun. Now, if the last candidate, the Elden Boy, would please join us on the stage. Hmm. Where's their head? Uh, let's see if the gambit pays off. Uh, your pardon, madam, but... Would you happen to be the Lady of Martyra? Joanna, the Sanctoress? Indeed. The head they've brought is mine. The impudence. You dare offer an honored lady of the church before these judges. This is not to be born. I've got something to say to you too. That you chief there. Isn't that Heisme? The same damn criminal you were supposed to be chasing? That's the infamous Heisme. The huge chief of all things. <sighs> this. After we saved your hide on the road. Silence! He may be a former knight, but now he's a heinous criminal who stooped to kidnapping. Anyone who claims themselves his ally should be disqualified on the spot. Please, wait. I have something I must confess to you all. You speak of the kidnappings that terrorized my home, Martira. I am here to confess that the true culprit behind those atrocities was me. I was the caretaker of a- They're not gonna believe you. The basement of my castle. They're not gonna the believe you. They're gonna think we I forced you to say this. People of my own city. What? Absurd. Speak sense, woman. Master Heisme is innocent in all this. He was framed for crimes performed by my hand and in my name. And I, Bard, Captain of Martyrs. Oh, we have a. Stand to vouch for all that she said. Just so. It was this young candidate who killed that human, cleared me of the false charges, and dispelled the shadow over Martyra. Thus, here I stand. My head is his to offer. That's. Well, that's quite a turn of events. We have our head, ladies and gentlemen, and it's unlike any we've seen yet. How is this believable? She's an imposter. She's got to be. Of course. That, or oh, they're putting words in the poor woman's mouth. A sanctuary would never... What will his eminence fall and do? The Honorable Master Godot should know whether I and my words can be trusted. It is true to the last word, isn't it? Yes, Your Eminence. Without question. Young Candidate, you have done well to bring about her repentance. Now, justice must be rendered. Are you going to kill her on the spot? What? Right here and now. Your Eminence, a moment. Thank you for your concern. But I have no objections. For a sinner like me. To confess the truth to the people. But he's going to get all the credit for the head. Oh, new king. It is my hope that you will rid the world of its twisted prejudices and common cruelties. Please. Leave this country armed with the truth. I will. I promise. Well, folks, sometimes that's just how the curtain falls. If Sanctifex Borden turned in the biggest head, then our dark horse here has certainly turned in the heaviest. 
What an upset, ladies and gents. He doesn't like this. this coming. <laughs> Those crazy kids have done it again. What a show. He's just here for the love of the game. I love it. We're only 49? We're gonna get kicked out of this rate. Barden just departed. Wishing everyone well. I suppose he aims to reach Martira before Joanna's confession does. And Forden himself. I hardly expected the man to make himself so visible. Likely his attempt at redirection keeps the blame from falling on him and the church. Can't say it didn't work, I suppose. I'm certainly not blameless in this either. It was my suggestion to make an impression by foregoing the pursuit of a monster's head in favor of a person. I guess, but... Nevertheless, the Lady Joanna entrusted her final wishes to us, and we mustn't betray them. Not bad, Pops. Hello. On the course of a human hunt, you gave a most distinctive showing. I suppose you're worth introducing ourselves to. I'm Fidelio. That's Basilio, Luis's right-hand man. See? And now you walk with the Ujif at your side. Each ally of a different tribe. Fascinating. Better to have dependable friends than familiar ones. Something we've got in common. Hmm. Not What's up? Did you expose a failing of the Sanctus Church? But you dared to bring her alive so Forden himself could do the grisly part before all his flock. That was not our intent. Oh, same idea, yeah? A real person's head gets more eyes on you than some decapitated beast. And now you're the names on everyone's lips, aren't you? No. We only read it wrong. And you weren't afraid to make an enemy of the church to do it. It's quite a feat for a no-name candidate to so deftly rub Forden's face in the dirt. A wake-up call, I'm sure, for those who only know his honeyed words. Oh, Lord Luis, we really should be going. Relax. We're in the middle of a conversation. I like a show of strength as much as the next girl, but I do so hate violent spectacles. A view from the sky sounds so much more enchanting, don't you? So this is what's become of Luis. There was something eerie to him even as a lad, but I'd never expected him to reach such heights. Do you suppose okay. attention? Last time he absolutely to demonstrate our power first. I'd like to think that if he went out of his way to talk to us, that's something we earned. Oh loves, I've got a message from Count Luis. He says he'll be sending a messenger along soon. So stay in the city, would you? And I have to say, I might not want to let you out of my sight either. What do you mean by that? Master Luis? Master Luis was just here. What happened? Well, he just left. You weren't told? We'd better be getting back as well. Oh, he's pissed. Damn it. What's so special about those fools? Having a go for Popeye, eh? Are you officially all flunkies in arms now, then? It might be a trap. Don't get cold feet now. We knew going in that any plan to win his favor would be dangerous. We have finally taken the first step in saving His Highness the Prince. If we can get the formula, then we yet have a chance of lifting the curse. How first, His Highness, anyway? He still fights? I took a look in the Farsight mirror a while ago. He's still asleep. But nothing's changed about his condition. And do we know where this formula is? No. But he's bound to keep it somewhere secret if it's evidence linking him to the assassination. Still, a formula would be useless unless it's within arm's reach for emergencies. If it's something he'd keep close, then... Would he keep it in his pocket? I doubt it. I mean, what if it slipped out? 
maybe somewhere less precarious. Like in his gauntlet runner? Do you really suppose it would be in the runner he uses even today? The incident was near a decade ago. It's as good a chance as any. Getting inside would be a pain for anyone else, including us. He said he would send a messenger. Perhaps it would be wise to wait until we've heard his missive. Good point. Let's just wait for word then. He was right there. Why not deliver it to us first, first of all? Water Sanctuary denies me my moment of triumph. She defiles the very church itself. Oh, and naturally it was an elder of all people who stood her before me. Will that benighted tribe never stop dogging my heels? An idea occurs, Your Eminence. For the tournament's next challenge, let us center the competition on a show of piety. Make them prove their Sanctus faith. After all, Sanctism is the state religion. It would be the barest of leaps to suggest that loyalty to the church is loyalty to the state. No, that'll be obviously rigged. Altabar is our next destination. The very seat of the faith outside the capital. I thought we might propose another hunt. This time for relics. Ah, the so-called divine relics. Those false idols the pagans consider relics of their god. What need does the world have for gods beyond ours? Soon, they will talk of nothing but how to win the Sanctus Church's favor. Your eminence's influence would be sure to reach even greater heights. And in the pagan lands, the greedier candidates will plunder and pillage for idols as they see fit. Hmm, find footholds for our missionaries, all without getting our hands dirty. The collection of divine relics should be a spectacle held on Saint's Day. Our divine right will be undeniable. Once I so they're using the, the church. We establish that these relics originally belonged to the Sanctus Church, and that they were ransacked from us in the course of history. He's rewriting Your history? On that day. I should be grateful to be honored with a proper title. <laughs> Say no more. A concession only fair for the right hand of the Sanctifex. Ever at your service. You do not bow your head. Oh, I... Humblest apologies. What troubles you, my child? Well, my concern would be about the risks involved. Some theories suggest even the Royal Scepter was originally one of these relics. In the unlikely event that a divine relic were to be found to nullify the king's magic... If such a relic existed, it would have been found long ago. You burden yourself with such fears. All you need to do is be a good saint. Smile, wave, and bless. Okay, so relic. such a relic totally does to exist. Return to the royal capital and gather the people under my banner. Understood. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Uh, hello. Uh, a word. Uh, some odd blighter left a letter for you last night, said he was Louis's man. Night prowler, today, come. Bit curt, if I'm honest, hardly diplomatic. Seems like this night prowler place is some sort of pub or club. But uh, do you know where it is? On the city's outskirts. Seemed fairly dingy to my eyes. I can't imagine Luis at a haunt like that. You think it's a trap? Maybe he's calm to us? If he wanted to trap us, I doubt he would make it so obvious. Though that doesn't guarantee our safety there, of course. Okay. There's a little other option but to show up. I'll hang about in the runner. Keep myself busy with tinkering. Uh, let me know if you talk yourself onto Luis's craft, eh? Right then. Let's be off to this night prowler. The night prowler, huh? The place should be on the edge of town, as I heard. The ferryman should know how to get there. Do. 
How's it going? You got it. All right. Where to? See right. Nice. Hello, what? Need the ride? You want to go where? The night prowler. Oh, it's you lot. Heard about you from those brothers. Go ahead, hop in. I love the design of this restaurant. I'd love to eat here. Well, look who it is. Appreciate you coming out. So it was you two. You expected us to roll out the red carpet right into our headquarters. Consider this a pre-show. Still, you really are just a kid, aren't you? And you're one to talk? I wouldn't go having a laugh at me big brother's expense. That's when I get to step in, make some points for my own life. You are brothers, and he is the elder? And here I thought the Magnus brother's name was making the rounds. Shame that. It's fine. First offense and all won't kill you yet. Besides, Lord Luis has taken quite a shine to you lot. Before we let you see him, I have a question. I want you to think long and hard before you answer, right? I'm getting sinister looks from the whole pub. What kind of king are you selling yourself to be exactly? Go on, let's have the pitch. I'd help anyone in need. Meaning what exactly? It means he's even willing to save someone like me. <laughs> You're not doing yourself any favors here, are you? Let's drop the pretenses, shall we? We were all about impressing Luis, and we've done that. You're all about results, aren't you? You'll answer the question from me, too. Why do you want to serve Master Luis? No lies, now. I admire Master Luis's power. What? As an elder? Want to get a little payback on the world, too, do you? Yeah. Despite having been a general, he has Parapus as some of his closest allies. That alone marks a man worth following. Huh. Whatever. You've got some brass tea, I'll give you that much. Already got more accomplished than that Gladell ever did. You seem like the types to make yourselves useful. Not many get Ardell's blessing. It's worth celebrating that. For now. Get in. Someone like you should already know what it's like. The minority tribes face walls and barriers everywhere they look in society. Our greatest hope rides with Master Luis. We'll do whatever it takes to make him king, and starting today, so will you. You got it, boss. Come on, then. Master Luis is waiting for you inside his gauntlet runner, the Caradrius. And no funny business up there, yeah? Nothing gets past the king's magic, and Lord Luis is one of the top candidates. We've captured some, what? Ten old assassins now? Lord Luis uses them for magic experiments and... Well... You know how that ends. Mm. We finally have access to Luis's headquarters. It's a valuable opportunity. Ideally, while most of our group is meeting with Luis, someone else can do a quick search inside. Galica? Wait, me? There's no one more suitable. Anyone else, and he'd question their absence. You're putting a solo infiltration on my tiny shoulders? But fine, I'll do it. Once we're in the Skyrunner, we'll assess the situation, then deal with our own tasks. Something bad is gonna happen. 
Where? It's already so? sunset. No place to visit after a piss up, but ever a piss up. Incredible. This I... runner really is huge. Oi, over here! Keep your head out of the clouds, will ya? Sam, you bumpkin can fall over the charade. It's all you want later. We won't be flying for a good while anyway. What with the saran and all. How about you not, don't go telling them anything they don't know yet? We're unofficially friends yet. Now follow me, I'll give you the grand tour. And try anything clever, you're dead on the spot. Make a rude comment to Lord Louise, dead on the spot. Got it? Not shy about making threats. Let's not test his patience then. Lord Louise is in the reception room and you don't like to keep him waiting. This is a dungeon, isn't it? What now? Got it. And here we are, going in. Don't wander off until you get used to it. The place could be a real, real maze. There's so many soldiers here. I, fig I figured we should have expected as much from Luis's stronghold. I feel like we're always being watched. Like it or not, an elder recruit is going to stand out. But we're on the same side as all of them for now, so stand tall. Batch of controlled locking mechanism, it keeps the suspicious element out. You know, like the bastards pretending they're grunts when they're actually assassins. Seems like a secure system. I assume you need a key to get around? Yeah, there's a few keys for different areas, only a select few ranking soldiers. You want to walk freely around the runner, then you're gonna have to move up her ranks a bit first. Evidently. Keys are only given to ranking soldiers. Is it having the place must be will need to acquire them then? Oi, t quit trading treacherous whispers among yourselves, eh? Quit with the gossip and get on already. Oh, nice. It's much bigger than I thought. I almost forget we're inside a gauntlet runner. Quit looking around so much. And what have we got here? Why are we letting schoolboys in the ranks now? These kids are our new recruits. So that's all it took, eh? A little show at the expo exhibition. You used to be you'd have to prove yourself before you could stand with the Count's men. They got Lord Luis's approval. If that's not enough for you, I'd keep it to yourself before someone knocks you off that pedestal. What? Luis present against me? Please, I'm a bloody sergeant. We can settle this here right now. Don't even try it. Oh, leave it out, Zon. Get your ass back to your post. That's an order. Just get it through your tiny heads. Power is everything around here. I give you three days at most till you run home. Tails between your legs. Seriously. You're just gonna stand there or you're gonna move. Come on. Here. And this would be Lord Luis's quarters. Just a reception room last. He'd be daft to show a pack of strangers right to his private quarters. A beautiful city, Brylehaven. But... It is its identity I truly respect. Oceana's navy might well have won them the Annex War, 
If you're Cronia, there was a war. Their honor and launch an opportunist attack in the wake of a storm. Even now, united in the kingdom, their pride in their power is what keeps this city alive. You wish to join my ranks. I need ask little else. Instead, I would hear what you wish to know most. Ask, and I will answer. That is why I have bid you come. Here we go. How do you plan on winning against Forden? I will kill him. Not that my victory rests on doing so. That man and Sanctism both are malignant tumors in this country's flesh and must be excised to sin. I agree as well. Candidates protected by the king's magic. The king is not a god. There is always a way. Mm. Mm. It is clear no small conviction drives you. Perhaps keeping you close will prove useful. You, assembled company, I hereby permit you to enter my service. We are much obliged. This is a heart of magic silver. Cut your finger and let the blood flow. A proper rite of loyalty. Shows how all our blood flows through the same heart. Watch yourselves, though. If your own heart's not true to our cause, well, it's not just a drop you lose. It might take off a whole limb. Oh, shit. You hesitate. Oh, shit. Fear and anxiety. They always lead the people astray. But power and order trumps all. That is the crux of my rule. It seems we have no choice. Good. It would appear we've passed. Ha! <laughs> Look at you, like knock knee lambs. Just having a bit of fun with you, eh? You think I'd go to all that effort? On August 13th, I intend to hold a soiree in this city. It seems a fine opportunity for you to make your debut in my retinue. Very exclusive, see? Only for those good enough to be part of our... What is a soiree? soiree? Hey Siri! What's a soiree? As my gauntlet runner requires some maintenance, the party should be held at the feast hall where I'm staying. In the meantime... Okay. Do as you will. A party. Only this area feels any different from the rest. I need a key to get in, though. It'd be nice if I could see what's going on in here, too. Is that boy candidate here already? Meeting with Count Luis as we speak, I think. Didn't think he'd end up on our side. I expect we'll run into each other on the job, eh? That said, let's get back to our rounds. Yikes! You're coming this way! I have to hide! side of that door never thought it'd lead to a place like this this area just screams suspicious with all the guards the formula's got to be somewhere around here is someone coming figures they'd show up now isn't that the songstress what is she doing here lady juna is something amiss I do recall saying I didn't need a personal guard today. Yes, but this is Luis's personal quarters, and we thought in case you needed... Well, I don't. You can do your guarding downstairs for today. Do you understand? And, well, I mean, do you really want to be guarding this... Um, you mean, idiot, don't make the lady repeat herself. Uh, apologies, my lady. We'll make ourselves scarce. See ya. <sighs> Close one. Opportunities like this are so few and far between. I've got to get this back in place. Oh, wonderful. How were these arranged again? A magic spell? Is that the formula? Oh, 
Oh, she looked at her. My luck. I can't carry out something that big, and now I know where it is. She saw her. She looked right at her, dead in the eyes. Good. <laughs> you've got the man's eyes on you. Now that you've sworn fealty, we can get right down in the guts of his sky runner. I worry for Gallica. Perhaps we ask too much of her. I hope she's all right. Ah, it seems you worried for naught. I'm back. Phew. You're clearly bursting with good news, too. <laughs> I know, right? I found where the formula is. I'm pretty sure I saw the real thing. Even if it wasn't, I bet the real one's somewhere in that room. My Why did Juna have it? We could have asked no better an infiltrator. That songstress Juna was there, too. I'm pretty sure it was Luis's private quarters. So I have to wonder what she was doing there. Whatever the case, I assume you could lead the way to the room? Well, yes, but it might be a bit tricky. To get to Luis's quarters, we'd need to go through the crew quarters, then through the starboard corridor, or the port corridor. You need a key to get into each of the divisions. Whoever's in charge at each guard post has one. Luis's private quarters have a special key, too. That one's held by the representative on the bridge. In short, we'll need to pass through three blocks. The crew quarters, either the starboard or port corridor, and the bridge. It looked like he's usually got his quarters under guard. So we'll want to pick a time of day when there'll be less people around. If we need it less crowded, then how about the night of the soiree? Surely it would be a skeleton crew. But they told us to be there. But they, they wanted us to be at the soiree. you as his supporters on that night. How would we get away with not being present? Maybe if we just excuse ourselves for a short time? We've got plenty of time to prepare. Securing an infiltration route, finding out when it will be less crowded. An infiltration route? Persona 5? On the night of, Gallica and one other will slip out, swipe the formula, then return by the shortest route possible. Have anyone in mind? My hearing makes stealth jobs simple work. No. I think he'd be our best bet. You would have the guest of honor himself absent? This is Luis we're talking about. He's bound to notice any absence. If we've lost on that front already, we might as well send our strongest. What do you think? It would be risky as a mere solo infiltration. Are you up to the task? We'll just have to make it work. You truly mean that? Seriously. We're jumping from tightrope to tightrope here. We'll have to prep our infiltration strategy tomorrow. For now, let's get back to the inn and get some rest. That reminds me. Do you remember the man we met in Luis's Gauntlet Runner? He yes. seemed very proud of his strength. Sergeant Xanth, wasn't it? You told he might be in charge of one of the runner's sectors. That would be unfortunate. I doubt he would simply let us pass. In any case, we should probably rest for today. We'll talk in more detail in the morning. Fascinating. This, all right? I'm counting on you. Of course. If we're going to be forced to go alone, mm. then I want to train... I want to train Heisman as something else other than the healer. Or something. I want to train 
the protag is something else other than the healer. Good night. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Now then. Starting today, we'll need to work on an infiltration route to let Luis's private quarters. Those in charge, the ones holding the keys, would seem to make a formidable lineup. The simplest option is the best option. Get them alone, beat their key for them. A short, decisive yes. encounter. Okay. I'm a little worried. Yeah. We have to build up our strength by hunting bounties and the like, so we may end up over our head. To four areas. What's it there? Boy, that. Oh, what should I do? Huh? Oh, what a pity. The dragon sizzleberry. If you can help. Let's give it a shot. Whoa. That's a two day trip, though. This place. Well met, eh? All right, then. So there's a tavern here. I'm just hey, one in a creatures. Fancy a bit of info. She's a tough customer. Just between us. He's weak against burn and poison. Gotcha. Fancy a bit of info. Magic that repels attacks. Okay. Just between us. His barrier doesn't repel magic, but magic isn't especially. Let's see. Is there a way to dispel that?
Fancy a bit of info? Okay. Just between us. I guess so. A decoy. Thirty-five. What level are we right now? What now? What now? Hey, Mister. Now what am I to do? Now, apparently, there's a guy here that... You're not one of my clients, and I only do business via referral. So foolish, it arouses great pity. Indeed, I was acquainted with the late Count of Halia. You know his son? The Count was a truly honorable, upstanding man. I doubt any son of his would associate with riffraff like yours. Hmm. How interesting. Yes, they did stink. The Count would often buy fish himself and then show up to our meetings with them in hand. Amusing as it was, I often worry about how it keeps it. The Count of Holly I, that I remember is a magnanimous man. He was oh, truly kind to all he met. Perhaps I should have learned from his example. Very well, tell me your story and I will listen. I do appreciate your assistance. Let's go. 
do you think? I see. I'm in trouble now. Hmm? Oh, yeah? My packages are overflowing. Please. Let's give it a shot. Gotta get with. Stay there. What now? Welcome. <laughs> this is what I got. <laughs> Show me what you've got. Let's do it. Right there's a labyrinth. We will face danger here. Oh. Alright, so it's four days to reach there. each of these. Ooh. Here's where we are now. There's a runner. There's a runner. It's your call. Here's where we are now. I will give two days for the dungeon, leaving us with 14 days. Fancy a bit of info. Just between us. I guess so. Fan ah! Just between us. Gotcha. Ah! Just. Fancy a bit of. Just between.
And we need a player to get the wizard archetype. Let's head there right away. I'm just hey, listen. Can't see a bit of info. Want in on this? Just between us. A village. And right there's a labyrinth. And two, three, four, six days. Cavio is stationed on the bridge. I know how you feel. She acts so sweet. I'm suiting here. Just between us. He's weak to electric. Thanks. Fancy a bit. between us I guess so Hey listen I'm just in All right then. Uh, let's sit out.
possibly could fulfill a request there. Six days, leaving us with 14. You seem interested, lad. Yeah, but... It's your call. Let's go. Which way should we go? Great. Let's move out. So we have six days. Where is she? How do you not decide your plans for today? Could you swear a moment for me then? Tis about Rodon, the Night Commander. Uh. My family found prominence the means of the wealth we lack. Scholarship mostly, with some having developed a taste for politics. I was the outlier. My single-minded pursuit of martial arts put me quite outside their sphere. And considering my temper, they had no idea what to do with me. In the military, such ideals were meaningless to House Hulkenberg. Before I had the chance to prove my abilities, I had already made arrangements to assign me to the Knights, ensuring I would not disgrace the family name. But I was fortunate enough to meet Redant in the court of my training as a new recruit. That's why. We were like in that way, seeking to rise by our own individual efforts rather than familiar background. Huh? What happened to him? I was the one who shattered their ambitions. After our training concluded, my redoubt was openly considered for an appointment to the Prince's Royal Guard. However, instead it was I who was ultimately selected. Redoubt lacked for nothing at a night. He and I were equals in all things, save my family who had put the right words on the right ears. He was denied appointment to the Royal Guard. Instead, he was sent to the front lines as alongside the common mm -hmm. footmen of the state army. And Drew was frustrated. He made a name for himself in Return to the Order, but to see him rise in the rank of commander in such a short period of time. No. We cannot allow such an abuse of power. Even if I am partly responsible for his attachment to power, it would be all the more reason to interfere. Mm. But I cannot help but wonder whether it's even my place to judge him. Even as I sought to ca carve my family's own path, my knighthood only came at my family's best, and failing to protect my charge, I left the I... capital a wanderer. No. Yeah, even now if I stay my course, what am I past self? What if she wandered? Once upon a time, I thought myself righteous, a respected order, brought many a criminal to justice, and saw many a punishment muted out. Yet looking back, I thought it was a matter of convenience. The way to disguise the weakling I was, my knightly standing, a replacement for the family I had forsaken. Of course, in my time as a knight, I failed to protect the prince, and I abandoned my post to seek him out no more than an honor than a thief and a knight. I fled my family and I fled my knighthood. Who am I to claim chivalry over here? So then. So you'd repeat the pass and run from Redoth? I. No, simply afraid. Afraid to face him. Afraid of facing what who I once was. It'll be fine. We'll help you through this, no matter what. You know. Tis the way of a broken sword, I suppose. Brute force will avail it nothing. But still. I see. Yes, that sword. Perhaps I lost sight of something very important indeed. But you've always been there to remind me. I've truly indebted to you, Joker Persona 5. Know that you have my sincerest thanks. Sorry. It's coming our way. 
A monster with most peculiar color changing eyes is clinging to the deck. We gotta get rid of it before Nero puts a child attorney on her to buff out any scratches or dents. I guess we're fighting! I didn't mean to do that. Oops. More incoming. More enemies. Brace yourself. Four left. You think yourself Don't equal to a dry dodgy kick? How's that? How much of life? I will be speaking. Almost finished. I will fight. I'm gonna take care of myself. Only two enemies left. One coming. That's it, Hulkenberg. Ah. Only one left. Finish the boss. We're clear. Let's catch our breath. The village of Inundo, a small settlement located north of... The industry that once thrived here fell into decline. And now the able-bodied youth dream instead of leaving home. A small population of mostly children and elders remain, and visitors are scared. Getting in some thought? There's something here. Want to make a quick detour? It's practically a ghost town here. The villagers around here are all like this. Those being able to work has tried elsewhere, while the remaining les residents live in constant fear of monsters. Hey. All right. The sky turns the same muddy color. However, confidence would be ill-advised. Listen carefully for footfalls in the mud and move at the break of dawn. Indeed. Tabletop games are fine learning strategy. I bet she'll kick your butt in it, but do you want to play against her? That takes me back. As a younger woman, I was utterly addicted to the game. Yes. Considering the current flow of the battle, it was an even battle, but within the span of one turn, I suddenly found myself cornered. Tis too early in the battle for so sudden. If your foe mobilizes a large force, th then surely an opening might be found. Your, your enemies marshal their foe might to breach your defenses, all while leaving their own base wise open. How do you respond? I see. Advantages to be seized, yeah, but it would be a hollow victory to completely abandon your own base. A balance between offense and defense might be obtained. All right. Shit. Well then. Do you understand now? If so, show me with your next move. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. I want to pick. Sorry. 
Well, hey. So. What an sword. It's a bit of an upkeep. What do you consider it the suppose the other is? Uh well. That contributed to the ease of its handling, I suppose. Alright. Care it with all your heart and it will respond in kind. Perhaps I'll find something like that along this journey. Meeting new people and discovering things in a new land. All of it leads me to who I will be. Time for dungeon crawling. I say, uh, we... The gauntlet runner arrives at a spectacular waterfall northwest of Brylehaven. The peregrine fall, the water cascading down from the river between the canyons, is among the kingdom's finest vistas. Thanks in part to the monuments carved into rocky cliffs, is the rumbling echo simply the water plummeting into the basin below? Or the roar? Of the Mage King. I feel as though this game is a lot more based around the combat and doing quests than it is the social aspect. What could this be? Something is just barely beneath, visible beneath the waterfall's veil, isn't it? They look like faces, but why would anyone go through the trouble of carving that beyond the waterfall? And aren't their expressions kind of scary? Whose face could that be anyway? Maybe the likeness of one of the old hero king. I believe a legend involving the mage king is set within this region. And I'm not questioning if you told me this was all created with the mage king's magic. They said he mastered immensely powerful magic, which he used to protect his people. I cannot say what to what would drive someone to go upon such great lengths to carve such a terrifying monument around these stones. Power closes many doors as it opens. Regardless of the intent with which you wield it, you may yet become fear and ostracized. That's kind of sad when you think about it. When you put it that way, it almost feels like the roar of the waterfall is meant to represent the Mage King's cries of anguish. If that is indeed true, we may honor those sentiments by etching this place within our memory. We may think on it more, but it's his time to return the favor. Their destination is the Tomb of Lament. It is said the lamentations of the lost echo throughout, disfiguring a somber burial ground into a mass grave for criminals and the kinless. The vindictive spirits conjure restless monsters. And it is here that the Gauntlet Runner comes to an uneasy halt. And we have time to do this dungeon today, I think. Well, this is the tomb we're looking for, is it not? What is our next course of action? We defeat the monster in the back and retrieve the Chalice of Legends. Well, I can understand why people might wish the dead could return, but let's find this thing and put an end to the rumors. I've heard of weapons and ancient treasures being buried in these places, but they're probably off the main path. Joker, we follow your lead. Just a second, I sense something. That feeling, it's... So, hey. It was only for a moment, but I thought I sensed some of the one of the relics that Nurse is looking for. Okay, then. Let's go. Uh, I'll stream till 5.15 today, but then I need to end stream. Because I do need to edit. Another gigantic place on our hands. It'll be all right. Now, this is our strike. To the vanguard. To the rear guard. Oh, power of kings. Try dodging this. 
Now, what are you prepared? Hack and slash. Let's go. Light. You hit their weakness. I shall scratch your own, oh. Captain. And that's that. Victory bow. To ever greater heights. Not bad at all. Is that the end bell? Ah. We've cleared the way. So one of the relics Nurses is searching for is here. I don't think we can avoid a fight here. <laughs> Have you been keeping your guard up? If you guard, enemies won't get any, any if you're the champion with a weakness. But you can't dart, dodge attacks while you're guarding. They like to summon monster halfway into the fight, and after that they cast powerful dark magic as an extra treat. Everything's pretty standard. If we take the offensive now, we can finish this. No, we can't. Yeah, how do we get in there, though? Draw steel. We all fucking hurt. 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 You got this. Yeah, I'm weak against this. Do it again. Oh, they saw us. Hurt. Quick, let's finish. Well done, Captain. We to battle. battle. Are you prepared? I would buy this power. What a finale! Keep your energy up, everyone! That'll do. Steady effort is key. Our foes are not vanquished. Be on your guard. How do I get in here? Oh shit, this isn't good. These fucking guys are everywhere. 
Let's take them all out. Your death will be quick. Now accept your fate. Fusion! I won't hold back. You hit their weakness. I still have your own fate, Captain. They yet cling to life. Let us clear out. To the vanguard. By dodging this. Looks like that's all of us. Great job, everybody. A halfway decent result. How do we? What now? There it is, we've got our bounty. somehow but how tomb of lament metaphor Shit. They'll need more than this. Uh, Stroll's anxiety is spiking. He 
Please? How do we get back to the main area? I do want to complete this dungeon today, hopefully. Okay, there should be a crawl space somewhere here. Really is my curiosity piqued by something so inedible, yet the stone does possess a mystifying quality. Could this be one of the relics that he was asking about? We should go back and tell him. Did shit, did he spot us?
Okay, let's go! Run! Alright, let's go fight the boss and then our bounty's up ahead. So apparently. It seems this is where it goes. Certainly uglier than I would have a normally lost soul. No wonder people get if it really is just another monster, then I suppose we should be able to get it take it down. I'll use what I must. This should suffice. Thank you. Helpful as ever. It's for all that we strive for. Oh, no. Brace yourself. Oh, that's the gimmick. Okay. I shall vanquish evil. I want to reset this fight. Are you prepared? That's really annoying. Save 
Allow me to use this. Vanquish evil. Come forth, royal soul. With their weakness. We come on down. That's your opening, Captain. This is your surprise. Thank you. Helpful as ever. Stroll is everyone all right? More. Someone, heal him. Save the ground. Take that. I'm fusionless. I can slash. Let's go. We're not there you go. Face me. I forgot he repels that. Shit, again, of course he recovered. Oh, that's annoying. Settle for the easy way. Got you! Apologies. I Would you finish ready. it? Fusion! There we go. We can do this. By this power. Flare! Oh, power of kings! There's a better way. To the vanguard! Kill him. Oh, power of heroes. Three. Are you prepared? I'll crush you. The flare it. Blight. Be not commander. Do my got you. Okay, now they attack us. I 
They're so low! Come on, kill them! There we go. High voltage? Crit rate when knocking out an enemy and beginning of squad battle. <sighs> that ghost won't be hunting anything else. Yep, and we found the Chalice of Legend too. None shall ever fall prey to that beast again. Let's return to the entrance. Indeed, the hours grow late and we should report in. Hey. Thanks, but you want to camp here tonight and keep exploring tomorrow? And that is going to be where we call the stream for today. Next time, we'll go hang out with Nurse some more. And then... We have 19 days until the mission ends, so... We'll have like 12 days probably. Wait, no, 14. And then we'll leave two days to do the infiltration. So 12. We've almost played this game for a full day. Tomorrow will be our last long stream of this game. So tomorrow I'm planning on streaming at like, uh, I gotta wake up at eight, have a meeting at nine, then go to breakfast, then I'll be back by like, hopefully 11. And then 11, to like one I'll do homework no 11 to 12 30 I'll do homework and yeah uh the smash locals going on right now so we'll go raid them I will see you later. Goodbye.